Wait, how the fuck did you? Oh, let me put the volume on something again. I can't hear your whispers. I think you can play your part, bro. Nah. Dang, bro. Sorry. That's how you're going to start the pod? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, 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 welcome back to another episode of No Records Podcast, episode number 66. I'm your host, Darius, or DW, aka Darius. And, you know, Chris is here with me. Want to say what's good to the folks? Hello. Yeah, that's that's his intro. But if you haven't already followed the socials down below, follow all follow us on TikTok at No Regulars or we're at two hundred and ten thousand on TikTok. We was going down on the followers. On TikTok? Yeah, it was crazy. That was what the fuck. That shit was dropping. I'm like, what the fuck y'all niggas doing, bro? Uh, well, yeah. what, what, depends who you want. I can tell you what the post. What? It's gotta be like Aiden. Aiden? It's gotta be gay. Hey, what you guys? No, not me. Oh, I was <laughs> gonna say gotta you gotta start it off, my nigga. Nah, you just gotta be. Shit, start off the new wave. Nah, you. <laughs> follow us on all follow us on Instagram at no podcast. Follow us on all podcasts and platforms at no regulars podcast on Apple, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Google Podcasts. I got my freaking yearly um Spotify thing. Cause you know when you post on Spotify, it gives you like a yearly like update of everything. Do you use Spotify? Yeah. I use Spotify. So I think the the I think we're the number one podcast for like a hundred something people like they listen to. Shout out to y'all, 136 niggas. If y'all listen to this right now, I appreciate it. That's your funny though. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I seen top. I said number one. I said we number one for 100 people. 136, but we're top 10 in like 600. Can you see their ages? Uh, the demographics like 18 to 24. You know what's like the our most like popular city like in the U.S. Kansas. Why Kansas? Oh my fault. You asked me a question. <laughs> that, that's your guess? guess. Yeah, that was my guess. Wait, let me go again. Yeah, is it, it's on east or west? It's on west. Washington. Nah, it's Houston. Damn. Houston? That's what I said. Uh, That's Houston, tough, yeah. bro. Shout That's out y'all fire. niggas, bro. Oh, fire. Yeah. But um, subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. Subscribe, like I said. Comment down below, all that good stuff. Join us on Discord, all them things. If you want to go play games with us, you want to talk to us, all that shit. And so we got a good power for y'all today. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's getting shit at me. We got good power for you today. We got a lot of stuff to talk about. But the first thing we're going to talk about is... You seen the shit that's been going on, on Twitter with Kanye, bro? First of all, that nigga got banned. Did he really? Yeah, he got banned, bro. Um, it's, it's like a loop, bro. You get tired of it after a while. But you know what he said? No, I think I seen a logo. It was like uh, he mixed something with it. I saw what, like he, what? It was like a. I think he mixed a. It was a sc- yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, think he, and he put like Yay twenty four on it. Yeah, 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 he tweaked. I, I ain't gonna lie, he tweaked. Yeah, that was kinda, I, I just, I he couldn't. tweaked. But then he's he freaking exposed. He said Chris Paul was sleeping with the uh, Kim K, bro. Yeah, I saw that trending. You think that's real? I don't know. I don't know if he just said that just to step because as soon as he said it, he got banned. So it's just like <laughs> it was like he said it. Now the door closed. Now nobody knows that shit all over the place. That's just so bad. I'm not gonna lie. That was so random. That's what I'm saying, Chris Paul. It might be true when she, when stuff be that random. It might be true, right? Like Chris if he, Paul. Like if he would have said like. What do you think? Of which one? Like James Harden. James Harden wouldn't be that bad. Not random. Yeah, if he was like, who's this girl? Kim. He's talking about Kim, right? Yeah, yeah Kim. If you would have said like Zach Levine. Yeah. Tatum. Yeah, Tatum wouldn't have been that bad. Tatum, like freaking. I need Corey. He know all the handsome best. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, Kelly Oubre. Yeah, that wouldn't be too bad. I'd be like, but Chris Paul. I was like, huh? The Family Man. That's what I'm saying. Maybe little- it was Cliff. He got it back. Nah, like his chill. brother. He got the, that's crazy. Chill, man. I think he did it though. You think so? Yeah, you think he did it? Uh, just cause the randomness, I think so. But it also could just be Kanye just pointing out some randomness. But Devin Booker went out with freaking Kendall. So they probably was together at some point. Shit might have happened one night. You never know. He's he says she cheated on him with Chris Paul. Yes. That's what, that's what he was involved mm-hmm. in. Yeah, I can see it. You can see it? I thought he was like six one. He's like six foot. She like probably like five five though, so it's like. I think when he went to Phoenix, he started growing his beard out too. Mm. Think about it. You never know, different bro. person. Different person. That uh, <sighs> he got a kid though. I know. Do you think it was like recently, or you think it was mad like a minute ago? 
And he was just holding. His I hand. think it was that same year when uh, remember that girl that came out that show, was sucking off all the sun players. Yeah, I think it was that. Same like time. the girl, <laughs> I think it was that same time. For <laughs> nah, but the, he wasn't on the Suns at that time, was he? He was. I don't was think. He? He, I don't think he that was, was the bubble. That was the bubble year. So the year after, he heard about it. He came through. He said, "Yo, what's up with that?" They said, "Now nah, we off that." Damn. He said, I'm gonna get mine. <laughs> get up, Kim K. That's that. I heard freaking Drake slept with Kim K too. They've been saying that for like They've been saying that for a minute though yeah, I don't know They Niggas said they put that shit in the song Because they live around the corner from each other Drake don't sleep with everybody I know right Didn't he try to sleep with Serena He probably did No he definitely did He did yeah I thought they was dating at one point He was at her games He was You think he game. slept with Ice Spice Yeah hell yeah He definitely did So with you there's, de- there's no way he did it But that nigga That nigga a horny man bro Ain't he in his 30s Yes 34 31 Maybe Ah he can still act up I guess but she's like, what? Niggas be on academics' head, though. And I think he in his 30s, too. Academics pushing like 30 something, like mid 30s at least. Yo, what is 31, 36? What's the difference? Five years. Yo, yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> you're a, in your 30s. I don't know, bro. I don't like DJ Academics. He be tweaking nowadays, bro. Did you meet that nigga? Oh, you I, sure? did, I did. At the t- I ain't meet him. He's, he was at, at the, the Toes. T- yeah. I work at the Toes. Pulled up in the Lambo, face ashy, dirty. <laughs> it was 9 a.m., though. So it was that nasty face you know when you have? Yeah. Like he, was he, had a, a, he was in a Lambo though. That's crazy. Did he but, have like? <laughs> but he wanted his change. It was like three quarters. He stayed and waited for it. I thought he was gonna bless me up. Like yo, here fifty, keep that. Nah, that, Jersey niggas, bro. That's crazy, Jersey bro. Niggas. I looked at his license plate too. I'm really? Like, Watch that shit. Not say Jersey. It did. Oh, oh right, dang. Right, oh, so that's right. That's real. Yeah, that's right. I know he lived in Jersey City. Like he lives in one of them condos down there. Bro, he said he beat where. Remember when little TJ got shot at? Was the Edgewater? Yeah. Well, the academic said he'd be over there sometimes. Yeah, that's, that's where all the rich people go. Like Edgewater, mm-hmm. that's where Odell used to live. Like, um, in oh, Pearl when he was on the Giants. Yeah, when he was on the Giants, he used to live over there. That's like, there's like big ass houses, like mansions over there. Like it's right, right, right by the water. Remember that one year we went trick or treating? Yeah. Why we didn't go there? To Edge, I didn't know, but I honestly didn't know about it that time. Where did we go? Milburn. <laughs> that was kind of. I mean, that's like in the hills. That's when Zaki freaking picked up the pumpkin and broke that and destroyed that shit. Didn't I take that dog? You took the um that skeleton dog, right? Yeah, that was fire. We we was crazy back then. <laughs> Why did we do fire. that shit? No, I had that man for a minute though. Did you actually have it? Yeah, it was in my garage for a minute. That was fire. Wow, that was fire. <laughs> no, that's you know, a- but looking at it an adult life, you put decorations in front of your crib and they just gone. Damn, that's tough. That's what I'm saying. Like that shit, like twenty bucks. <laughs> that's tough. I would be bad as hell, bro. That's tough, bro. Dang, you been you been watching the World Cup, bro? To be honest, I saw like glimpse of it. Like when I work, it'd be playing. Oh really? I saw Argentina was playing something, and then I saw Messi scored. And I said, "Hey, it's lit." I know. I seen that too. Yeah, I walked away. Freaking one of my. I'm going for Ghana too. Are they still in it? I, th- I think so. No, maybe they. I think they should be in it. I haven't seen them play in a minute. Yo, the first game I saw, like my class took us to watch it. It was what? so. Yeah, oh really? Yeah, class is funny. What the hell? They said, "Yeah, we going to a little theater to watch the uh, the World Cup." They had it playing there. There was some team called Wales. Yeah. I said, what the hell is Wales? That's like a little country in like Did Europe. Did not know that. I yeah. said, bro, what the hell is this? Is this like this? <laughs> <laughs> You know, that's why they say America's ignorant. Because not for low key, I felt mad ignorant. I didn't know what was happening. Did what was they, they like, playing too? I think a team I knew. USA? What? Yeah, they was playing USA. That's why I was like, Yo, who the hell is Wales? <laughs> <laughs> my, my fault. I ain't know what Wales was. That That's like a crazy. really small country, though. Bro. Like, and like by like Serbia. Haiti shit. wasn't even in it. Really? Yeah, I look. I was like, why well, don't see Haiti playing? They probably didn't make it qualify. I, think they, yeah. I seen Dominican Republic, and I think. Shit crazy, bro. I didn't even see Nigeria, though. I just saw I Ghana. I don't. I didn't see him either. Yeah, they maybe didn't, didn't make it. Yeah, maybe they didn't, they didn't make it this year. You know, you're rooting for Portugal. Um, I honestly don't know. I'm just like a. I just like watching like the highlights and stuff. I really don't know who's on each team. I only know three people. I'm not gonna lie, watching soccer games be long as hell. I know that's on what I'm TV, saying. It's not as lit as in person. I, I heard in person it's probably oh. Mm-hmm. I think there was like a that's game that had like eighty thousand fans. That's lit. That's on crazy. TV. You be, you'll watch ninety minutes, no goals. Zero, that's what zero. I'm saying. That's crazy. That's why I just watch the highlights and shit. That's crazy. Even when I was playing soccer, I didn't watch. Oh really? That's crazy. Yeah, I guess. That's I mean. Long. I feel like you gotta like you really have to love the game to really watch it like full force. Cause I know one of my friends, a lot of my friends are soccer players like that I work at school with, so they be watching all the games and stuff. Like they be having they be having two games at the time watching it. I'm like I'm just looking. I'm like of soccer. Yeah, soccer. I mean football. Football. Yeah, what the football? <laughs> football. Nah, no thanks. I don't know. So wait, who, you a Ronaldo or a Messi fan? Um, 
I kind of like Messi more. I think Ronaldo's nice. too like uh, nice. I think Messi is Messi's just a better player. Yeah, but I think Ronaldo he's just like a I don't know. I feel like too many people like Ronaldo. I feel never mind. I ain't gonna equate him to basketball players before I get I get killed. What he's gonna but, eat, like LeBron and Michael Jordan or some shit? No, I was gonna say like Ronaldo like KD. I was that, that's a good comparison. <laughs> I'm not gonna like, like KD. Like Messi, people be trying to say he better than he not really. Yeah, he's just I get you, I get you, what you mean. You, you just can't. Like, Sorry. I get what you mean. I don't care what speed trying to do to convince the youth. Yo, you know his freaking song was at the World Cup. Bro? They played it. Yes, you're lying. I swear to God, that World Cup. They played that. Yes. That joke is fire. That's I didn't think I'm they saying. would play it because the verse was garbage. <laughs> I think they. I don't know if they just played the World Cup part, but that part World I remember. Cup, uh, World, World Cup. Cup. That shit. I was like, nah, this World nigga made Cup. it, bro. They really played it. Yeah, they played it, bro. I was like, wow. That's so crazy. I'm about to make a World Cup song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? That's what you gotta do. Hey, bro. That's wow. tough. Did you hear about the Andrew Tate like boxing Jake Paul? He's boxing that nigga. They they did like a video. Oh for his yeah. I mean, did they actually do it or they was they, they just did a video of them walking up together and saying like to get to see if the people be interested in it. You think people would though? I want to see Andrew Tate fight. You think he could fight? He used to be a what a kickboxer. Oh really? Yeah, I think he was a kickboxer. I mean, Jake Paul fights niggas like that, and he was washed up niggas That's that don't I'm fight saying. no more. So, I think it'd be funny though. That would it would raise a lot of money just because of the people who it is. You know who KSI is? Yeah, the, do you want to see Jake Paul and KSI? Didn't they fight already? No, nah, they didn't. No, nah. I think it was Logan. Paul. That was Logan. That was Logan. Nah, I don't want to see KSI. I'm not even gonna. I don't want to see, yeah, see KSI. I see Andrew Tate. I'd watch that. I'll watch that one. I'll watch that. that seemed funny. I can't watch KSI, bro. Mm. But but I brought up the World Cup because I I heard a story. About the World Cup and like I guess it was like a really dark time. So like in in the nineteen ninety four like World Cup, a Colum- so in the nineteen ninety four World Cup, right, a Colombian like defender, his name was uh Andreas Escobar scoring an own goal on like his team by accident. And that was, he was the reason why they lost, I like, got eliminated. So he went back to his country, went back to Colombia. Like, World, World Cup you said? Yeah, it was in the World Cup. So like it was Colombia. I forgot who he was playing, but he scored the own goal by accident. Like he like, knocked in. And it was, he was the reason why they lost. So he went back to his country. He was supposed to go to Las Vegas. That's where his family lives. But he wanted to go back to his country, you know, just to, like, come back with the team and shit like that. I don't know. Dumb as hell. And it's Colombia, bro. Like, you know, at the time, that's when Pablo Escobar and shit like that was going on. So then he brought him and his friends went to, like, a nightclub and shit. And then at, like, 3 o'clock in the morning, they, like, split up. And he was in the parking lot by himself, you know, just chilling. And three guys walked up to him. And they started arguing with him. And two of them pulled out a gun and shot him in the head six times. And every shot, they was like, go, go, go. And he died, bro. And they say it's because of... Why'd you make that sound? <laughs> why'd you... Go. How, why'd you how's it go? Sound? No, why'd you say, go. go. <laughs> why'd you do that? That's how like, it was. was why'd, you, why'd you add that, bro? <laughs> that's, yeah. how, that's how they told me. But, go ahead, but they said one of the guys was part of the cartel. And the other dude that shot him placed like a big ass bet on the game and he lost a lot of money because he lost because he basically lost them the game and they say they like he was like his like mistake was what got him killed just imagine bro you playing for six bullets in the head six bullets in the head bro and just left him there he died in the hospital why, why was he at a club at 3 a.m dolo i don't know bro that's what i'm saying why would you go back home after just scoring a whole goal but like i would like just think i would not think he's gonna kill me over shit like that like that's old, but like I mean that's what I'm saying. Soccer is kind of different. Soccer is like a really big sport in countries and niggas. Yeah. That means more people is kind of crazy. Shot, sp- that nigga six times. shot him in the head, bro. Just what for his name, uh, Andreas Escobar. What year was this? Ninety four. And after that, it was like the cut the the country got like shunned for it because it was like really because of the World Cup. Like they made like a whole news article like in Britain about it. Like yo, like Colombia might not be able to go to World Cup or something like that for a nah, couple yeah, years. It's up. That's so, bad, bro. That's crazy. Like, he really just got all... Like, you imagine you just doing your best. You play this sport, you love doing your best, and now you got Did it. you see him score the goal on him, or you didn't? You just read about it? I didn't. I, there was a video of it, but I didn't watch it. I don't know if it... I think it was... I'd watch like, it. I got to see the goal. I think it was like... If he kicked that junk in on purpose... I think it was like a it was like a cross, and he tried to block it, but he kind of knocked it in like with his foot. Like, you know, you stick your foot out, try to block it. I think he like hit it in by accident type shit. That's not that bad. It's not. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But like, I don't know how much money that nigga bet. He really like. Nah, that's. And I heard. That's kind of crazy because I'm about to do a book report on um, you know, Tim Donahue or whatever his name was. Tim Donahue. Who's that? That's the guy who uh who used to rig the NBA games that referee. Oh really? Yeah, I gotta do a book report in my sports class, and I'm gonna do it on that. So it's crazy that you brought that up because he's still alive. 
I know. And he was actually rigging games. For like, what, like 10, 12 years, right? Yes. What I forgot. Making money. He was breaking it down. And I only watched the first five minutes. I'm supposed to buy the book. It's a book report. It's on Netflix, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did he thought? What did he thought I was going to do? <laughs> so it like started. He was saying like they had names to it. It was like Nickel, Dime. It was some crazy. I had to write it down because I was like, yo, this seems great. It was like a nickel was like 500. A dime was a was a rack. A stick was like 10 racks. A Ooh. balloon was 100,000 or a million or something like that. That's, that. They had like sneaky turns and they would bet like, oh, I bet that this referee is going to call a foul before me. So oh. that's why they would hold the whistle for like mad long. Really? Yo, I was I was like, this is an easy book report. And I wasn't was, he like reffing like NBA finals games and yes, shit? Yes, bro. So that means, damn, so a lot of these, when was this, like the 90s? Yeah. Dang, That's kind of yo. They was talking about how like, remember that spin move that got that became illegal in the NBA? It was Which like one? A, I think it was like a post fade spin that Michael Jordan used to do. Yeah, and he called it on Jordan. Then they, they all had a meeting with him afterwards. Really? I was like, like, why he called that shit? Yeah, you don't call it on him. Oh, so they had favoritism with certain athletes. Yeah, I, I think that's how it usually is. It bro. probably is still is right now. Hell yeah, like freaking LeBron be caring like shit with that dumbass thing. Yo, they said that. He was so good at like rigging games that he could guarantee a game would go either six ways, six points this way or six points that way. That's whichever you want, he could make it within six points either way. Wow. See, if that was soccer, he would have been dead. I'm not gonna oh, lie. Oh no, he would have been out of here. He'd been dead. He'd been dead. You know how cr- to be able to just say that, yo, at this point, he's gonna win by six or lose by six. How much you wanna bet? And then just do that. So is it like the betters would go to him and be like, yo, I'm gonna pay you this much to rig the games and I'm gonna bet on it type shit. That's what I'm thinking. That's crazy. And I'm That's- thinking he probably paid people to pay to make the best because like referees aren't so they're not allowed to gamble. Yeah, they're not allowed to gamble. And I think I think all referees are supposed to be like they're supposed to be like ex like military people because you're supposed to like, yeah. like you know the discipline. Damn. So is he in jail? He got to be in jail for this. Yeah, I think he did go to jail. He has to. But that's he got like, a doc on Netflix. Yeah, watch the doc on Netflix. That's od. That's like the yo, fucking. What, he had a man's with him too that was still smiling about it. I was like, are you crazy? <laughs> that's so. He seemed bad. regretful, but the other guy was like cheesing. Like when he was describing the balloon, he's like, yo, the balloon. He was smiling. Wow. Like, you got to think like when you make all that money, you get arrested. You probably still up though. Yeah, you probably are, but like they might freeze your accounts type shit. Yeah, till you get out, but then you made the money, you made the money, especially if you're doing the time. I mean, yeah, I guess. Nah, that's really, that's crazy, crazy. bro. Yeah. Like for like 10, 12 years. That was during Jordan's era, too. Yeah, no, I don't do that. Nah, nah, he, he <laughs> won a fair square. I, 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 I don't want to get like, involved in I that. Even, I even heard another dude, like I, I was watching the other day, like he, he was able, you know how like people can't make money? Because like there's like a secret like formula to make money to make it like look authentic. Mm-hmm. A guy actually it was a I forgot, it was some random dude. He actually figured out a way to make like a dollar bill. Like it took him like years to like perfect like creating a dollar bill like hundreds. Because like you know you have to like there's like a mark you have to do it. It took him like six months to figure out the mark. He had to find paper. And I think it was a it was a fucking what was them little books them little yellow books where they had all the phone numbers on it a phone book yeah phone book mm-hmm. that that type of paper i guess if you put a different thickness on it it's it's identical to like a dollar bill and he was able to like use that and like exchange it for actual like money and like use it as counterfeit money for like years and then he got like he got um i think the feds came in on him so like his whole shop and shit like that and he got like 5 years in prison for that that's it only 5 years but now he's like a big time artist so they froze his account. Like, what happened with his money? I don't know. I think they probably. I think he ha- he owes like the government like five hundred thousand dollars in like taxes and shit like that. What race was he? He was white. He's white guy. Because I'm not gonna lie, on Twitter I've been seeing like every f- two months it's another African nigga who got mad bread was getting arrested for scamming or some shit. Yeah, I've been seeing that. too. You been seeing? I'm like, yo, these <laughs> African niggas coming. They see, making bread somehow. I don't know what they doing. <laughs> I see some nigga from Chicago. He got he got uh, arrested for. He was making switches, like Glock switches from a 3D printer. Yes. And like, so like, I think a switch on the market was like seven, like a hundred dollars, but he will make, it will cost him to make it like five bucks because like it's a 3D printer, but it was, it was like a real switch. So it turns like a, a, a like a, a single shot to like a multiple shot, like round gun. And he was selling it to, into the streets of Chicago for like a couple months. That shit probably wouldn't work then. No, it was working. It like, worked Like too? it actually works. So like they said, they calculated if he actually like was able to do it per year, he'll make like probably like $12 million a year. Bro, it's always some random shit. Random like, shit? Like money, who bro. thinks of shit like that? That's crazy. I do want a 3D printer though. I know. I but heard that I wouldn't that make, make switches. I'm not going to lie. I think that nigga's, I think he's in prison for like eight years. I think the government going to snatch that nigga up. Because if you think like that, 
Like that's that's some smart ass shit, low key. That's that shit. You seen Black Panther, right? Yeah. That's that shit. What they gonna do? What the, what's her name? Riri. Yeah. When she, when she made the what is it? The is it the new the vibranium yeah. finder on some for a college experience? Oh yeah, 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 type shit like that. Yeah. Yeah, they gonna do the same shit they do there. They gonna get him out of here, boy. Oh, you think so? Oh, he might be in the CIA. That's what I'm saying. Maybe you never know, bro. I think them CIA movies is real when they be like like going to criminals and stuff and be like, yo, you wanna work for me? Hell yeah. Yeah. Like the freaking like um what's that movie with the that nigga from Maze Runner? You know the, it was the dude from Maze Runner. It was it was called the Assassin, I think. Styles? No. You talking about Styles? What's his name Styles? Styles is from Teen Wolf. That's the only No, 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 no. I no. know his name though. Is he the the guy that was in Teen Wolf? I don't remember. I don't never watch Teen Wolf. <sighs> the main guy You ever watch you never watched Maze Runner? I did. I think you talking about Dylan O'Brien. Yes. Dylan O'Brien. Yeah, and yeah. it was in a movie when like American Assassin? Yeah, that one. I seen that on Netflix. I didn't watch it. It's good. Yeah, it's pretty good. It was the same thing you just said. Like, so basically, it's the same thing you said. Like, he it's he wasn't arrested though. It was just like something happened to him where he's like he's like distancing himself from like other people, and he's like really just training. And the CIA is like watching him constantly, and they're like, all right, you know, at a certain time they're like, all right, you know, they come in and they recruit him to be part of the CIA, and now he's an assassin. That's fire. Yeah, it was tough. So I think that happens a lot. Hey, that's the movie suggestion of the week. Yo, watch that. Hey, American Assassin, right? Netflix. American Assassin on Netflix. Did you watch Knives Out yet? I didn't watch it. You like I just the saw fifth... Glass Onion, Bruh, which is part two. I heard. I know that's what I'm saying. Like me and Jay gotta watch it. My friend sent it to me on my on uh on like a cryptid site. Yo, I can't say it, but I got you. Bro. I know it's good. It's a good movie. I need to murder bro. mystery, and you play Clue. I know, bro. When I went to the movies to watch Glass Onion, the guy there was just telling me about Clue all night. Really, like next to you, bro? Like I'm walking <laughs> to go. Like I get, you know, when you get a ticket. Yeah. It's still so dumb. Like I just bought the ticket here, then I walk here to hand it to you. Like what the hell? That's the dumbest thing. <laughs> Wait, ever. they still do that? Yes, I bought a ticket, then I walk six steps. Here's the ticket. Like it makes no sense. So I do that. And then the girl, was what she was like, she got to use the bathroom. Yeah. She went to use the bathroom, and I'm just standing there. And then the guy just started talking to me. He like, yeah, man, you about to go watch Last Sunday? You like mystery movies? I'm like, yeah, it's cool. It's whatever. an older guy? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. He was black, too. <laughs> oh, damn. I thought it was an old white guy. No, <laughs> I ain't going to hold you. You know, he just started yapping when I described damn. that. He just kept going. He was like, yo, you got to watch this old movie, Clue. I was like, what the hell is that? I know the <laughs> board game. He's like, it's an old movie. It's great. Best plot twist, murder mystery, you'll love it. You gotta play the game too. You and your friends, you, you. I was like, oh, he was going in like that. Yeah, she was like, yo, y'all, you, you, you smoke. I was like, nah, bro, I don't do none of that. So well, you don't need to, man. That just great. You should play. You should play the game. Watch the movie. I go on Google. That just came in like 1985. <laughs> I gotta watch a movie from 1985. Nah, 1985 is crazy, bro. They don't remade movies mad times. They won't like, remake at that. least twice. If it's in the 80s, at least like two, three times they remade that shit. Bro, like that has to be. Bro. It might have been Knives Out. I'm going to watch it, but. Oh, you are? I'm going to watch Clue because he, he's. He, bro, he gassed he it up. He found me in the theater when I was oh, leaving. He, nah, that's he OG. came to clean. He looked up and he said, my man. I said, damn. <laughs> it's him again. That's funny yeah, as hell, bro. He, he bro. kept talking about it, bro. He was following me. But I'm going to watch it. Clue. Ah, that's tough. 1985. Hey, second movie. Nah, my older viewers, if you want to watch that <sighs> shit. People probably, is, there, is there anybody under 18 that's seen that movie? Hell no. <laughs> that is impossible. <laughs> unless you like, unless they like I movies. will not cash app you, but if I could, I would. Because that's impossible. <laughs> unless they like movies. Because there's niggas that really watch movies like that. There's really niggas that love movies for real. I still ain't see the Star Wars. And I read, I need to watch those. Yeah, look. Nah, I, don't watch I started the Harry Potters, though. It's all right. See, with Star Wars, it's, there's a lot of filler movies. Like, you know, animes have filler episodes. They have movies of fillers. I should just watch a summary on YouTube. Bro, but I it's not the real experience. Like, I tried to watch, like, the Star Wars thing when I was a kid. Because I tried to get into it. I really, I got so bored. I don't even remember where I left off at. It was just bad. It I just, just want to see Darth Vader. <laughs> it, he, like, he wasn't even, I don't even know, was he in the first, I don't even know if he was in the first movie for real. I don't think he's, Revenge of the Sixth Path, the Sixth Path. It was one of them shits, but it's just going crazy, bro. I don't know. But, I don't know, I got, I got a question, right? So, which one would you rather try to kill you for the rest of your life? So, it's 50 random snipers posted at random parts in the world, but if you ever go, like, one mile, like, radius of them, they will kill you on site. You said random spots? Random spots in the world. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Come on now. I got, I got like some they, other... they live there? They're just stationed there. And I don't know any of the spots. You don't know any of the spots. 50. But, like, just think about it. If you duck real quick, you might be good. 50. Yeah, bro. Okay, continue. Or, or an arrow spawns every two years above your head, and it takes 10 minutes to reach your head. But if you move away from it randomly, then you're good. And it could go through, like, 
like objects. And but it won't come when you're sleeping though. So an arrow appears above my head, but I won't hear it. I would just have to look. Yeah, but it, it takes like ten minutes. Every ten minutes? No, for once, once every two years. But it takes ten minutes to fall down and, and actually try to kill you. But if you move away, then you're good. It's it's gonna come to this one specific spot. So you basically gotta stand in one spot for like ten minutes, and that's how you'll die. But is, you, is it big? It's a normal arrow. You're gonna die. That shit gonna hit you right in your mid, in the top of your head, bro. <laughs> I'm like, is it big? Cause like people could see it, right? They could. I mean, they because like, if ah. they couldn't, then that's op. But I'm like, if only I can see it, that's op. Nah. But if they could, they be like, what the hell? Is, I'm, oh, I'm good. I I'm mean, they can see it, but they be like, ah, you're not gonna react to it. Like, I have ten minutes. No, but like it's falling from high up in the air. Oh. So it's like it's gonna take ten minutes to drop down. I thought you meant it was gonna pop up, stay there for nah, ten minutes, nah. and then fall. <laughs> I still have to do that. So, but then there's another one. So the oh, last thank one, God. thank God, is oh, easy it's a one. it's a killer slug. But if it touches you, you die. But it it's it spawns at an at the opposite side of the world, but it's chasing you. But it it, it moves five miles an hour and it can walk on water. What the hell? I got a vivid that? imagination. A <laughs> slug? Can I kill it? You can't kill it. Why can't I? It's unstoppable. It's can just I, coming. Can to, I capture it? It's t- it's coming to kill. You can't stop it. It has to touch my skin. It has to touch your skin. You and how general. big is a slug? It's like this big. It's this big. But it's like it t- it's moving five miles an hour. Even when I'm sleeping. Yeah, when you're sleeping, it's just hunting you down, basically. Do I know where it starts from? It's the opposite opposite side of the world, so probably like five thousand miles away. So like, if 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 I was doing that, y'all would be like, okay, it's literally. At this location begins now. Yes. I'll do that. I think I watched I just, a YouTube video of a nigga breaking it down of where it would go and based on... Because you seen the movie It Follows? Yeah. With a... Mm-hmm. They was breaking that down to see like how long it would take to find that person. Oh, really? So I know that some <laughs> smart person that can break it down for how long it would take the slug to reach this place. Then I'll travel. Then it reach that place. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's I was going to pick that one too because it's like if, if it's moving five miles an hour, it's going to... In a day, it's going to reach like do 60 miles so in a year that's like around like fucking uh quick math 72 like 72 7 oh wait maybe in a year it might get you I can say it could walk on water but yeah. I can't kill it but can it die it can't die so it's just gonna be you're just gonna be chased for the rest of your life you're just gonna see it right there and just, you just gotta run my nigga let's see it out of arrow yeah the arrow not bad one arrow to white that's on oh yeah I forgot about the arrow the arrow's be- not bad because the arrow like is it loud it's not allowed, but you're just gonna see. Is it sh- gonna go through buildings? Yeah, it goes through everything. It's just gonna, it's gonna kill you. But like, if you move out the way, you just can't stay stationary for ten minutes. But it say if say it fell down, like you see it fall, it missed you. Now you're good for two years. Every until that same time, two years. It's random. So it'll be like so it'll be two years has passed, and, and then, then, it can happen then it can happen randomly. I think I might do the arrow. You think so? Yeah. I think I might do the slug. I, I'm gonna just cal- try to calculate it. But if I, I'm gonna be hella hesitant that, if I see a slug, that shit gonna sneak up on me. It's just the slug is so small. That's what I'm saying. That shit. At least with the arrow, me. as long as I keep moving, I'll be all right. Yeah, that's not too bad. Cause you said it don't go when I'm sleeping. Nah, so you can you can sleep. Okay, I just, just can't. I can't work a job where I have to stay in one spot. Damn, you can't work the. the I'm sure the government will help me out. <laughs> that too. You gonna tell the government? I'm gonna be like, yo, there's gonna be an arrow that falls from the sky in five, four, four. three, two. <laughs> then they gonna take me serious when that when I step to the side and record it. Then I'm like, yo, you gotta help me work this out. They gonna see the gravity. Yeah, I'll do that one. That's now. tough. That's tough. All right, I got um. You got anything you want to talk about? Or you want me to go into depth on something? All right, I got one. So if you had to bet your life on surviving one of these, what would it be? Surviving a three-minute bout with Conor McGregor mm-hmm. or a three-round fight with Mike Tyson. But you can't get knocked out in that fight. I can't get knocked out in either of them. Or I can't even get, oh, damn, I might get submission. Yeah. Ooh. So surviving that three-minute bout with Conor McGregor, you can't tap out and you cannot get knocked out. And the boxing with Mike Tyson. You just can't get knocked out. You just can't get knocked out. That's Which a, is three rounds of that. It's like five minutes around, right? So that's 15. I'll give you two minutes. Versus a three minute round, just one round with Conor McGregor, but he I, could kick. That's what I'm saying. He could kick. <laughs> I might, I might do fucking. But Mike Tyson in his prime, though. That's kind of. Because I'm not gonna lie, if they freaking like, like I like you ever like wrestle with like niggas before? That shit is mad tiring. No, you get tired immediately. Like if that nigga grabs me, it's over. Like for three minutes of like, 
<laughs> try not to get into like a rear naked chokehold, I might be done. Yeah. So I might I might do Mike Tyson. I mean, if you just don't tap. But nigga, I could die like that. Yeah. He could break my neck for yeah. real. Yeah. I think I might do Mike Tyson just try to. What like if that. you had what if you was able to train? If I was able to train? Two months for either two, one. All right, two months. What would you train for? Which one would you take? Well, I'll take McGregor because I feel like <laughs> a knockout from Mike Tyson gonna fucking hurt. So what you would try to what do, learn reversals? In two yeah, months? hella hella reversals. Get my stamina up. Get like my endurance ready for all that that pound that shit. Pause. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I had to stop myself. Pause. <laughs> Pause. No, I think I would do Mike. Nah, that's what I'm saying. If you get rocked, that's he gonna, go, he do body shots. That's what I'm saying. I can't take that. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt bad. You might break a rib. I don't care how much you fucking train. That shit, you can't. I mean, at least if I'm training for UFC, I also I gotta learn how to get hit. But it's not. I'm not. The main focus is not to get hit. The main focus is just to like you gotta work on grappling, the freaking takedowns, wrestling, shit like that. At least for, for boxing, you getting straight hit. I don't want that. <laughs> that shit gonna yeah, hurt, yeah. bro. I mean, you could clinch. I mean, there ain't no clinching. That's in three. UFC. That's three rounds though. Nah, if you clinch in UFC, you dead. You're going to elbow you the fuck out of your ear. Yeah. That shit going to ring. Yeah. Mm, taking elbow some Conor McGregor, though, to the face, yeah. one of those might put me out. I feel like I just see a, a Superman it, punch out of nowhere. I'm not going to be able to block that shit. <laughs> I don't know. So if you had to bet your life, you bet it on Conor? Yeah, I do Conor, bro. I do Conor. Bro. Depends on the day. I'm just gonna kick him at that I'm same spot. Oh, I'm try- I'm gonna just try to block his kicks so he break his ankle. Are you gonna try to fight or are you just gonna run away? For which one? For both. For Connor, I'll try to learn like some feints. <laughs> keep him at the distance. Yeah, yeah. You can't just play defense and not try to attack him. Yeah, you yeah. don't feel too comfortable. <laughs> I know, right? So I will learn something. For Mike Tyson, just defense. Just straight defense. Just straight defense. Okay. That's... My punch ain't doing nothing. That's try. Just oh. straight defense. All right, that's kind of true. That uppercut going to hurt because it's going to slip through. And oh, gonna... my God. An uppercut, that's nigga? Gonna that's going to... I'm going to break my teeth. Fuck the... Even yeah. if I have a mouthpiece, that shit going to yeah. break my shit. Yeah, lose, lose. Damn, bro. But... So, since since we're talking about surviving, I got another thing we can talk about. So, can we survive these supervillains if they were ever to be real and try to take over the world? Okay? All right. So, the first one is... And we're, I'm going to go through the whole list and we can just talk, like, give our opinions about it. So the first one is Dr. Doof and Smurts. I thought you were going to say Dr. Doof. <laughs> nah. Okay. So do you think we could survive Dr. Doof, if Doof and Smurts if he was ever trying to take over the world? Just think about it. He he made some good inventions, but he just had Perry the Platform stop that nigga. I seen a cat fight two dogs <laughs> in real life. He was losing to a cartoon platypus. Yeah. I think he lose to some cats. You think so? He can't beat. Roses and something on Nader's. The the, the be like something something the bacon eater. <laughs> yeah, bacon and eater. Nah, it won't work. Yeah, he's he's out of here. You think so? Even Wait, if who, he, just me or just you, me and you? Like what? No, it's just like the world in general. Like, do you oh, think we're the, fine. You think we're fine? We're perfectly fine. Even if he makes like them big ass robots, I bet we're fine. You think so? He's gonna have a self destruct button on the foot. That's so. true. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that's true. He do have like a random yeah, self destruct button so like I, everywhere. I ain't tripping. Didn't he All make right. that one that looked like a human? Yeah, I, I, I liked him. that's funny as hell. All right, the next one is the Joker. I'm not going to We're lie. fine. You think so? Yeah. What do you think? I think we're good, but I feel like he's just going to keep popping up here and there. Like, we, he, like he will not be gone for sure. I think, because we're not the we're not Batman, nigga. He's going to die. That's what I'm saying. But oh. he's gonna, <laughs> yeah, he's going to die. But he's going to have, like, a following and a cult. That's what I'm saying. It's going to be a little annoying. But we'll be fine. You think it's like Trump type shit? Nah, it's going to be worse than that. Yeah, he's going to get a lot of people. Them niggas might start. He might just get people the People are going to help him on the run, too. What if like niggas just start becoming new jokers? Like that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's it gonna be, be a nuisance. It's but, not it, part. We can, but we can we can like yeah, fight that off. Like like COVID, he's like equivalent to COVID. That's that's a that's a good. Man, he's, he's like it's a nuisance. We'll, we'll, you see, we here. Yeah, we'll, we'll, get <laughs> we'll get through it. That's good. That's good. How about Megatron? So I'm talking about he got his armada of the cars. All of them. Oh, what's up? I'm not gonna lie. What's up? That, that I think we're dead. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Because I up? think I think we're actually what's dead. Up? Because first of all, they could disguise themselves as cars. What's up? We don't Wait, know who's the trailer, who. bro. They could do animals too now. That's what I'm saying. What's up? Deceptive. Them niggas could. F- Yo, I don't think we could fight off against them niggas, bro. Eventually, we might have a good fight for like a good two, three years, and then it's gonna be over. Bro, even in the movies, 
We didn't do nothing in the movies. I know we were just there. We was <laughs> just, honestly, we were just like being annoyed. Yeah, we were just there with guns. Then like, bullets were just ricocheting yeah, off the niggas. Like, yeah, honestly, <laughs> it's, it's up, bro. Damn, they got it. That's, they got that one. We can't. We are gonna have to nuke. That yeah, honestly, yeah, we just got the spam nukes. And then oh, we, just, we could go on the ground though. But then we'll we, have so many casualties. We technically lost if we go on the ground. Bro. Yeah, we'll have so many casualties. That one we lose, and I can't even see a way when we would make it. Yeah, I get you. I can't. <sighs> How about all right, this is your guy that you told me about. Aizen? Aizen, oh yeah. Aizen from Bleach. I looked him up so I know oh who he is about now. That, you don't know anything else though? I know I know like like somewhat that of what he's about. That is crazy. So I know isn't he like smart? He might be able to beat the Megatron. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. That so, brother. Does he have powers or is he just like strong, smart, and fast? Like in like in Bleach, like the powers, everyone has a unique power to their sword. Yeah. It's called the Bankai. Mm-hmm. So his is like the moment you see his sword, like he controls all your senses. Are you serious? Like, he can make an illusions, what you see, what you feel. Like Oh, so it's done. Yeah. So like <laughs> him, like what he did to the main character, spoiler alert, what he did to the main <laughs> character, bro, he set his whole life up because he, cause he knew he was strong as shit because he lived mad long. Yeah. So he met, he had this, he had these two people get together, his parents. Yeah. One was a soul reaper, which is like against... It's yeah. like strong people in that show. Mm-hmm. The other one was a Quincy, which is like they both help fight demons. Yeah, yeah. He got them both together to get a strong ass child. Then he took that child and killed his mother. He to killed. Get... He killed his mother so he, you know, so he wanted could... like a revenge story. Want to help people. To yeah. Up. Then he kicked his father out. His his little crew league. And yeah. His father had to retire. Uh huh. So when that happened, from then. Then he made that nigga have to save someone. He got he put someone in danger. And this is all from looking at the fucking thing. Yeah, this, oh. is, this is a, this this is really this is shit he planned in his head. This is how smart he is. Wow. He then he he put someone that was like still a fighter who was in Soul Society. Yeah. He injured them, sent them to where his area where he stayed. He saved them because obviously he's a good person. Yeah. Then he has to work for her because she's hurt. Yeah. That's why he's called like a substitute Soul Reaper. Mm-hmm. So then he goes to the world, and then he makes that nigga fight certain people at certain points in his life. As he gets stronger, he's like, ah, yeah, that's a good matchup now. Get stronger so I can beat you and feel satisfied because you're the only one with the potential to even match my skill that I'm going to have. Wow. He did all of that shit so just he, for a fight. So he basically just made a, a reality. He just played, yeah, he just planned that was, you know. That was before he even used the sword. What? He planned that out. Like, that really happened. That wasn't even the sword. That really happened. That's kind of nuts. Because I remember I looked at, I looked it up on Google as, like, like where he ranks as, like, the, the villains. Nigga was, like, number two. Bro, that... And I'm looking at this nigga. I'm like, this nigga? I know. Cause he looked mad cool. Yeah, he looked like a cool nigga. Yo, it's such a plot twist when you find out he's a villain, bro. Yo. It was crazy. Wow. Oh, that was the whole plot twist of Bleach? Like, yeah, because he's dead. Like, they show you him dying. Oh shit! Then oh, like, so like twenty was, episodes later, he's just walking around. So with his glasses. You know, an anime get yeah. Oh, the anime the glasses get foggy. Oh like, shit! Just, he's crazy. Damn, Bleach sound pretty good. It's amazing. It just came back. Now it's in four. It's beautiful. That graphics. Wow. I almost wore the shirt, but I wanted to. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. That's a crazy villain, bro. That Nigga, James. what? That's like bro. top two, of like <laughs> all time. What the he's hell? He's written great, and like the way he thinks is great, and he's smart. Whoever, whoever made that character deserves hella bread. That like, is, I told you what his sword do. I didn't even tell you him use it. I told you a whole story what he just did just to do. Nigga just basically just created a whole reality just yeah. to have a big fight. Yes. Wow. And he didn't even die in that fight. Wow. Like, the main character was fighting him and he didn't die. Wow. So he could he they can, just they just threw him to the side. So and he, can, he can he he can honestly never die. Probably not. And like he, he, he you could trap him. Out. You could trap him, but I, you could make it think. Like, I literally think he's attached to a chair right now. <laughs> like they couldn't <laughs> kill him. I think they put him in a basement attached to a chair. But like, what if they like he made them think that he's in the chair right like, now? Exactly. Oh my god, that is like, genius. I'm not even gonna lie. That sword is crazy. Like just you just look at it and you just that's. Hey, that I'm gonna put like a timestamp. If you don't want to hear this, if you watch Bleach, this is where you should go now. Yeah, <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah, Nigga. Eisen, that brother. Wow. That's, that's, like a dude. that's why I love Bleach. I gotta rewatch it, bro. That's wow, like, that's crazy. So good. Cause usually, like, when you see a guy like that, you're not intimidated. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, this nigga? Look like a regular person. Look like a regular dude. I'm like, does this nigga have, like, some. Is he, like, Superman? Like, I'm like, no, that's <laughs> like is this, like, as a disguise or he, some he's shit? He's just smart. He's just the average person. That's wow. what made him so tough. That's kind you would of, never expect it. That's fire. I might even go hold you. That's fire. I know. Damn. Damn. So it's. Yeah, that's deep. No, that's deep. 
I just brought up the sword as deep. <laughs> like, what? You didn't yeah. even tell him about I thought he yeah. had super strength speed. No, yeah, I brought up the sword and what he did to the main character wow. just to fight him. Wow, nah, he would kill us all. He's, like oh, he would yeah. probably make us. He would probably kill us and make us think that we alive still. No, yeah, for sure, <laughs> we'd be slaves. Oh God, sure. that's why I think he could low key beat Megatron. In them. Nah, he definitely could. <laughs> I think <laughs> he sure. might be everybody. Be like, like, yeah, he's really crazy, nigga. That's like fucking DC level villain, bro. Like he's up there. Every list is always Eisen up there. Like you probably like. He and if you look at the reason, it's never like a. It just be just right like, like that's it, it's just him like, like that's the type him. of shit that they be having in comics and you can't make movies about it because like yeah. it really doesn't work out yeah he's too op <laughs> that's too op yeah like you really can't nerf that nigga yeah if like if you nerf him like he's really just a, a regular nigga bro in anime if you watch anime you know when they gas up the villain and the main character gets like four or five power boosts it's up <laughs> he did not die <laughs> oh bro the God. main character did a form that we haven't seen since. That nigga could and probably... Yeah, and he didn't die. He could probably kill One Punch Man. Yo, he didn't die. I don't know if he could kill him, but he gonna make that brother think... <laughs> he, he gonna make him think something. Oh. He could probably use that sword to make One Punch Man kill everybody in his world. Oh, my God. That's, That's what I'm saying. He's so OP. We need to bring some of them anime niggas to here to make some movies. That'd Yo, be great. It, well, I'm like, making a movie. Like, they have good. They have really good storytelling over there. Yes, they do. I just told my class that I was like, bro, the storytelling is way better. Like, way better. They could do so much more than just like watching like cartoons like hit each other. Like they have a lot of good like. They really creative. I'm not even gonna lie, that's crazy, bro. That's really good. I never knew that. I didn't think Bleach is all that. I thought because oh, I'm <laughs> the reason why I didn't think Bleach is all that because I remember in middle school, you know, you remember, you remember, yeah, he he really loved Bleach. He was weird. Yeah. So I just thought bad it was Yeah, it was bad representation. Bro, when I was a kid and I would watch like if you watching, I'm sorry. <laughs> when I was a kid and I was watching like Naruto, or Dragon Ball Z on Cartoon Network late at night, mm -hmm. like literally out of nowhere, like when one of it was done or right before it would be Bleach. Really? And I just remembered seeing niggas walking in sand, and it was some Mexican nigga. His name's Chad. You and I ended up. Yeah. When I rewatched it, I found that it was some Mexican nigga. I said, bro. The hell is this? This is on trash. <laughs> it was like four or five years ago. I was talking to Bash and I was like, it's like, yeah, I think I'm gonna rewatch Bleach, bro. Like, I'm gonna give it a chance because I was young. I didn't really give a you feel me? Let me yeah. tap in. Rewatched it. Perfect. That's my, that's my favorite anime. That's tough. My favorite anime. No, Did you watch it like recently? Like yeah, like this four year? five years ago. And I, oh. and I just came back like last month. Yeah. For the last chapter where every it's just straight fighting. Wow, that's tough. It's just straight fighting. That's what I'm thinking. I thought it was an anime where they don't really fight. It's just like a... Like a nah, like this a, last one, straight fighting. That's fire. I'm not even going to lie. Like, yeah, if you don't want to really want to watch it, just watch it like this. It's just straight fighting. Damn. Is it still the same storyline? Yeah, it's just straight fighting. Like, Damn. literally. I might need to tune in. I was watching I was like, this is amazing. You know <laughs> you know, when I work, it'd be like 7 yeah. in the morning. It was 8 in the morning. I was smiling. I was happy. <laughs> That's how I felt watching. No, nah, 8 in the morning smiling is crazy. crazy. And they showed Eisen. He was just sitting in a chair. The villain that's here right now went to Eisen and looked at him and was like, I ain't going to do nothing because he couldn't <laughs> do anything. <laughs> he just looked at him and just walked away. He said, do you want to join me? Eisen said, no. And then he just walked away. Wow. That's crazy. That's, so, that's so OP, bro. Eisen is fire, bro. That's crazy. That's fire. But so, and then the last one is Darth Vader. Like bro, if he, I've if never he, seen Star Wars. Like if he pulled up with like the Armada with all the robots. Nah, them robots suck. Don't they got no aim? They don't got no. <laughs> oh, that the Star Troopers? Nah, they don't. Nah, he he don't. He has the the um yeah, the robot the robot soldiers. But, but they, they got no aim. but there was some so they nah they really didn't have no aim. That was true. But he has the force though. What 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 more do you think you can do with the force? So if he has the force, then does that mean the force exists? Yeah. Or does that just mean he has it? It might mean it might mean it exists, but maybe not in our world. Like we might have to figure out how to get the force type okay. shit. Um. It might, it, I think he. I think that brother got burnt by lava. I think that's why he wore the mask, right? And I he, think his Anakin, face got burnt. Yeah, and he Anakin Skywalker, father. Yeah, Luke's he, Luke's. He's, he's one of them Skywalkers, and he got burnt by lava. Yeah. Oh, what's up? So he could die, but he it's just die. like it's just how to touch that nigga. Pause. Whoa. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, fast forward. <laughs> no, I think. I think. You he, think he can? If you if I had to rank rank that the danger levels, Eisen, Megatron. I want to give it to Joker or Dar I'll give it to Darth Vader. I just Dar the Joker is going to have a cold. I only give it to Darth Vader because of the the robots and he can just build a bunch of them. We can we can start. If the Joker is going to have a cold. That's annoying. That is annoying. You saw what happened on social media when they thought they had clowns for that one Halloween? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Imagine a real life one. You saw oh, jo yeah, you see Joker yeah. the movie? Oh, You saw yeah. the ending when it was all like sappy that? Yeah. 
Oh, so like, oh shit! Like, imagine like clowns just running around the fucking yeah. That yeah, might be kind of crazy. That's annoying, bro. Like that's that could be that's like longevity too. That shit could happen for a that, minute. Yeah, I might put Joker in. The okay, yeah, Joker, Megatron, then Doofenshmirtz. Yeah, no, get Doofenshmirtz out of here. <laughs> he's not even yeah. a part of this shit. No, he, he he's, he's <laughs> chilling, bro. That's my friend. Like, <laughs> I see him. I'll dap him up, take a picture. Like, hey, yo, you know, nah, facts. That's true. Just my phone and Nader. That's what I'm gonna tell. Hey, about, bro. bro. Oh man, bro. So, what else do we what else do we want to talk about? Uh, we was talking about the Transformers movie. Did you like? Did you like the um the little trailer that they came out with? I just saw a gorilla just running. Really? <laughs> you saw the trailer? I saw. I I watched it with my boy from work, and it was pretty good. I like because you know I used to watch Transformers when I was a kid. The animated show. Like the animated I played shit. the game. The game was fire. Really? It was really hard. I never got to play the game. It was bro. really difficult. On what PS2? Yeah, it was really hard. Though. Really? <laughs> I don't remember being it. <laughs> it was hard to say. But I remember I used to have the DVD. I used to watch it on. When I was on vacation, I used to watch all the Transformers ones. Did you watch the actual movies? The the animated ones? No, yeah. the, real, the real movies. Yeah, I watched the real movies. So I saw something on Twitter saying, like, Shia LaBeouf sucked in those movies. But when I watched them coming out, I love Shia LaBeouf. Like, when they changed him and put that racist dude, what's his name? Oh, what was his name? Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah. When they put him, I thought it was trash. I didn't like it. I like Shia LaBeouf, especially I, when he had Megan Fox. Megan Fox. Yeah. And then, yeah, I think it was good. I just feel like how Shia LaBeouf is now, they just try to hate on him a lot. Yeah, like he getting no love, but I li- I like his movies. I like the Bumblebee too. But why Bumblebee always lose and everything? I don't know. It just always has to be. And Optimus Prime get worked to the last end of the movie. That's what I'm saying. Movie. What people don't like about it is that op- the way Optimus Prime looks. Like he looks kind of like ass. Oh, in the new trailer? Like in the new one, like he looks like mid. Like wow. he's like, not blue and red with the paint. No, he is, but like the the type of like design he did is kind of like chips. Like 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 the one in Bumblebee, Bumblebee, it was pretty good. Like the way the graphics look, but his look mad like basic. Like yeah. actually, like I think they tried because like you know remember, but he always turned to the ugliest car. He didn't turn to a fire truck type. I know, but it's like you can make him look a little better. That's true. You know that's what I'm true. saying? Like it just, I don't know. It looks. I think it's like a spinoff of like the Bumblebee universe. I didn't even see that movie. You saw? I didn't. I never watched it. He was in that movie. Other than Spawn. I think he was Could maybe have been t- the end credit. Look, I'm spoiling it for myself. Maybe towards the end. I don't know. I don't even remember what Bumblebee movie was about. I think it was like when Bumblebee like first came. It, it had a girl. Really? It had a girl. I said, bro, I'm I'm Lord of Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> said I wasn't watching Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> so I'm not about to watch this girl either with Bumblebee. That's funny as hell. So I didn't watch it. But I I might watch it when it come out. Yeah. It's a I feel like it's a good like nostalgia. They try to do like no nostalgia thing. I feel like like nowadays it's like the nostalgia part of like cinema. I don't know. Ain't, ain't really been too many good movies. Though. Like they're making a new Indiana Jones movie. I saw that he owed his hell. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, should just f- restarted it. Like so him, they can make it I seen him going with the with the fucking whip. The I whip. said he 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 look like he about to throw his arm out doing that no, shit. No, that's just low key. Like he's like <laughs> nah, high key, oh, high yeah. key. But but what was what do you think was the best superhero film of the year out of this 2022? What came out? So we got we got Doctor Strange. No way home was this year. It might have been. No way. No, I I don't think so. I think it came out December last year. Yeah, that was so long ago. Yeah. So it was Doctor Strange. We got Thor, Love and Thunder. Trash. Black Panther 2. Mm. Uh, we got Black Adam. That was cool. Uh, am I missing one? I think there's another one. I can't remember. Black Black Panther can't be it because they they was trying to they were focusing not on making a like making a good comic book movie, but more so like repairing the damage that was left. Yeah. So it wasn't really. I feel like it was. I feel like it could have been better, but it wasn't as good. It didn't feel like a comic book movie. It didn't. It just felt like a normal like it felt like a recovery. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's what I, it really felt like. So that don't count. Doctor Strange. It had too much hype around it, and it didn't it, deliver. Nah, it was so much hype around it, but yeah. I think it was because of the the spoilers. I ain't gonna lie. And then the title of the movie, you can't title it that. And then the, most of the movies about Wanda. That's what I'm saying. If it was a Wanda movie, I bet you everybody would have loved it. That uh, featured Doctor Strange. Yeah, yeah, would have been way better. Be, I, I can, I can see that. You can see it. it's literally the same it's thing. Literally, multiverse of madness, and literally the people that was part of like the whole hype up died in five minutes. Like, yeah, like I'm like I'm thinking, and like the only one freaking Zombie Strange came out. Okay, that was cool. That was cool, I guess. And then they the other Stranges, but it's like nobody else literally came out. Yeah. I mean, I guess it was like a. F- I didn't even watch the Batman. Oh yeah, I forgot about Batman. I'm tweaking. That long ass movie though. Never saw it again. I actually, me, and J- I watched I that. I people saw the Batman more than once. But like, I didn't actually watch it. It was just like on the TV. It was just on, right? Yeah. And you just glance at it. Yeah, it was shit like type shit like that. Black Adam was good though. Was, I like Black Adam. It was cool. Like it was and a lot better than I thought. A lot of people's hating on. It. That's why I make the money. I should have. Why were they hating on it? It's DC. 
I mean, I feel like DC doesn't make too much hype because, like, you know, the animated is a lot of gore and shit. They can't yeah. really put that in real life. They need to, bro. Just be different from Marvel. Yeah. Because DC got a lot going against them. They got they got Marvel. Yeah. Marvel fanboys. Yeah. They got this, you know, Zack Snyder. Uh, yeah. That They got everybody who's boycotting DC unless Zack Snyder makes the film. Yeah. And then they got people who say DC's always been trash. I don't care for it. Especially after the Justice League movies and yeah, shit like that. Yeah, and then they got people who say, I only watch Batman movies. Yeah. So it's like, DC just... It's just... They need time and consistency. I don't know. I feel like this... Black Adam was a good start. It was, though. It was a good start. They put they put 600 mil in it. I know. You think they got it, that it back? It didn't look like it was 600 mil. You don't think so? <laughs> it didn't look like it. it was beautiful looking. But it didn't look like 600 mil. It was it was a okay. I'll give it that. It was better looking than most, uh, most DC movies. Yeah, it was better looking than most of it. So it might I didn't, be. I didn't like that kid. Which one? The um, that little kid that was in it. He was pissing me kept off. Throwing up the rock. That was freaking cringe. I didn't like, yeah, it was very cringy. Like the rock did good though. Yeah, he did pretty good in his role. I like. He that. wasn't really a villain in the movie. It was like an anti-hero. He just didn't know what the fuck was going on. To be honest. Yeah, he just kept killing people who thought yeah. it was bad. So, what they were bad. So are you a villain? You a good guy? Yeah, he's basically <laughs> a good guy, but like in the sense of like Batman. Nah, like you can't like, kill niggas. Why would he even fight Superman in the beginning? In the, in the ending, like why would he even do that? Because I think because he wants to leave and Superman is gonna tell I him not to. I think because it's like you know a battle of like the strongest niggas. That's so why just Superman is just gonna fight a nigga to see how strong he is. He not Goku. I mean, I think. Like, what was DC taking me with? Because I remember, because oh, so I watched the animated one of like Superman and Black Adam, but first, and, first and, Shazam. Yeah, versus Shazam. I saw that, and Shazam was in it. Yeah, yeah. That's when Shazam first got inspired. Mm-hmm. That was fine. So like, he was I, cooking them. That's what I'm saying. He was cooking them. So I don't know if they're gonna put Shazam in that too, and like make it that movie. Because honestly, that whole movie is just them straight fighting, and they already know they already know how Shazam got his power. He was cooking. Them. Who Black Adam? Yeah, he was. Cooking. Nah, no, that's what I'm saying. He was really frying them niggas. Frying them. Like, like Superman is impervious to like he like he can't fight magic. That's crazy. He can, but he's weaker to that than a, like yeah, brute like brute force. force. Yeah. So that's cheese. I was like, damn. So maybe that might be the thing that they're but, trying to do. But in and in Injustice, Superman always kills like Shazam in like two seconds. Yeah. That shit makes no sense. His brother got the strength of Hercules, the mind of this, the done of this, and he'd be he'd just be dying. That's what I'm saying. He's low key like the closest thing to, to Superman, Superman, and he dies and he, that quick. He dies that Is quick. it because no he sense. got but the mind of? But Batman be living mad long. <laughs> that shit makes no sense. The nigga <laughs> Superman is not faster than the Flash. It's mad close, but he's not faster than him. But he'd be killing the Flash. That's what I'm saying. Like quick too. Like he just like instantly. Should make no sense. Is it and for Shazam? Is it because he's like um, has a mind of an eight year old, ten year old? Is that why that's pulling him back? I don't know. He's supposed to have the mind of some famous Greek, like be the wisdom of that. That shit don't be helping that nigga. You don't listen to that nigga. Don't apply it. it. Like I don't, I don't know, bro. I think he was more mature when I was watching the animated one. Like when he would turn into Shazam, he'd be more mature. Yeah, this one he's like, oh, he, oh yeah, like that. He'd be more mature. Like he would sh- have conversation. He would sit at the Justice League table and yeah. actually talk. The Shazam nigga. Now, now he just he just keeps the same mind. It's like it's kind of weird. I feel like I feel like what's the point? I feel like they try to make it like a funny type of thing, like they, a comedy. They work. They made money. People love it. Did you really like it? I did. It was cool. I it was it was cool, right? I hated the ending when they get everybody power. Yeah, yeah. I that was that was cringe. I hate that shit. That's why I looked at it as like a like a family type of movie. Yeah, like this was, shit not like come on, trash. bro. Why is all these niggas got power for? That was trash. Like you tell me this this Shazam, Shazam can't beat him by himself. That used to be that used to be a thing. Ugh, that junk's trash. Man, bro. Mm-hmm. But, so yeah, I think the Batman's probably I don't really know that many other movies. Yeah, I definitely gotta be it's either people gonna say it's either it's between Batman, people gonna say Black Panther, and I don't think nobody likes Doctor Strange that much. So it's probably just that. them two, honestly. And then the next ones is when Ant Man come out, February. Oh, good. Yeah, they made it. They safe because Ant Man probably would have won. Mm-hmm. I heard that's gonna be really good. And then Guardians of the Galaxy three comes out in like May. Did you watch the Disney shows? Which Disney shows of the oh like uh, on Disney Plus? Mm-hmm. No, I didn't watch it. I don't you got didn't Disney. Watch, you didn't watch Loki? Nah, I fold. I don't got Disney Plus no more. How did you watch Doctor? Sh- did you did you watch One Division? I didn't watch it. And you saw Doctor Strange? Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know that shit tied in. Were you confused? I wasn't really confused because, like, I think they. I was a little confused about the kids, but then I remember somebody told me before about yeah, you're crazy how it was like how she like created a whole like. Oh, you should have tapped in. I did. I know, bro. You're crazy. My freaking Disney Plus ran up, bro. No, you're crazy. But that's yeah. tough. So you want to do um you want to do uh the Ben Ten Alien draft, bro? Yeah. 
You gonna make a list? Yeah, I'm gonna make the list. So people, we about to do a Ben 10 alien draft. So like always, let us know who won. Let us know if we missed anything and shit like that. Let me go get the list ready. Who get first pick? You or me? I usually always get first pick. You want it this time? I take first. I'll pick. take it though. You? Uh I'll take it though. I take first pick. I haven't had first pick. <laughs> ben first pick. Go ahead. Ten. Alien. Drive. All right. Oh shit! Think about that. Knock that shit out. All right. So for my first pick. Hold on. Let me look at this shit again. All right. For my first pick, I'm gonna choose. Hello? I'm gonna choose <laughs> from our first pick. I'm gonna choose. I'm gonna choose upgrade. That was my second pick. I think upgrade's low key cheese. Yeah, that's cheese. Woo. I'll choose from my first pick, Alien X. All right, we're not gonna do Alien X. That's too. Why not? That's cheese. It's the only thing to be upgrade, nigga. What anybody? Yo, that's. So if you were to say Alien X, I wouldn't have to sit with that. I was not gonna say it. Oh, that's your fault. You can't draft. <laughs> Next one, get your second pick. Nah, no way. No Alien X. No Alien X. That's you too didn't cheese. Say that before him. That's too cheese, bro. <laughs> that nigga is literally God. Hey, all right, bro. Then I my first pick Ben Ten Thousand. When he was older and he knew how what? to What? Nigga, what the? You got to pick the alien. I did. You wasn't messing with him. Nigga, pick one of the pink snake fly, bro. Nah, but why can't I get my alien X? Nigga, because that's just OP. That's too great. That's too. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking like that. Yeah, it's your fault. Nigga, well, no. I got to be punished. Nigga, pick that. up Chuck, bro. I pick Gray Matter. All right. That's a, nigga, that's a smart nigga, right? Yeah. All right. You're scum. <laughs> nigga try to cheese me I'ma choose Accelerate I pick Ghost Freak Ghost Freak? Oh it's cheese X That nigga's name was really XLR8 <laughs> <laughs> Ghost Freak Ghost Freak I, I ain't gonna lie That nigga used to creep me out No he was creepy as hell Like he was creepy looking Um Fuck I'm gonna choose. This nigga would choose Alien X. This nigga's a hoe. You wouldn't let me. Um, I pick Ultimate Ben 10,000. <laughs> you wouldn't let me pick that. That either. was crazy. Uh, I'm gonna choose. I'm gonna choose Jet Ray. I need a nigga that can fly. I'll choose Jet Ray. I don't even remember who that is. It was the bad looking nigga. Oh, and then I pick. Um, I pick Ultimate Big Chill. Okay. Ultimate I, big chill. I'll take that. Yo. I want to pick some nostalgia shit, bro. I was going to say forearms, but yeah, I don't say know. that mid. Nah. <laughs> he's too mid. Say that mid. Nah, he's too mid. Uh, I love forearms, though. Don't get me wrong, bro. Um, fuck. Wait, when I said Ghost Freak, I said that, right? Yeah. I meant Ultimate Ghost Freak, though. Nah, fuck out of here. You got, you got one. Because <laughs> yeah. I realized I just said Ultimate big chill, but I meant like... Nah. All right, whatever, whatever, whatever. You already got one. Whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm going to choose uh, fucking... Oh, uh, fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm going to choose... I'm going to choose Swamp... Ultimate Swamp Fire. It's not this nigga saying ultimate. It's crazy. Ultimate Swamp Fire. I'm going to pick Clockwork. That was Alien that could control time. What? Yeah, you're not tapped in. Oh. So I have Ooh. Big Chill... Gray Matter, Control Time. That's it. I only have three. Yeah, no, and Ghost Freak. Wow. I didn't. Where the fuck? What was this from? I think that was Alien Force. Clockwork. Oh, I didn't even slide. Damn. Um. <laughs> no, no nostalgia. Nah, I can't do nostalgia <laughs> now, bro. No Diamond Head. <laughs> Diamond Head gonna get his ass beat. Uh, let me look through this. Shit. No Heat Blast. Kind of need, I, need, I need a strong ass nigga. Oh, do I? Have, who do I have? I have. Let me check my list real quick. I have upgrade, accelerate, jet ray. Oh, I need a strong ass nigga too. You know? Yeah, up choke. Fuck no, <laughs> that little motherfucker. Humongousaur. Remember him? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm fired. Um, you ain't getting heat blast, L man's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck, bro. You gonna get Vilgax? 
Bill Gax, isn't that the 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 bad guy? Yeah. Exactly. All right, I'm gonna get. He say he's strong, so I'm gonna get Formungasaur. Who? It's a fusion between Humungasaur and Four. Dick, when did that happen? <laughs> Bro. No, I gotta search that up. <laughs> Nigga just makes Four me. Four <gasps> Yeah. Ew. <laughs> What the hell is that? That nigga's hideous, but that nigga for a Yo, what the hell is that? Yo, please put a picture up. That is disgusting. What the hell is that? Why is he wearing that thing around his body? That is disgusting. I don't even know who this person is, but I'm going to say Atomics. Atomics? Yeah. Let me see. It says that... I don't know what the hell. He's a green and white robot, and he can control. He can create atomic blasts. Oh, I see Clockwork. Explosions. Clockwork's tough. Yeah, that's valid. I was gonna pick. I forgot about him. I was gonna pick Wrath because I like Wrath. You ain't picking no one you like. I know. I couldn't no more because you went. Cra- you start going crazy. I, you wouldn't let me get Alien X. I would have been calm after that. No, <laughs> <laughs> nigga, what you would have fucking won by then? I'm a, now. I'm gonna put a. I'm gonna put a fan favorite. Because I got a bunch of aliens that people probably don't know. All right, you want to do you want to do two fan favorites? Uh you got your two. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do you. You can go first. My first fan favorite is Heat Blast. I think he's mad valid. Okay, I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick. Um, I'm gonna pick Forearms. My second. Oh, I see Clockwork. That's tough. My second is gonna be Cannonball. I always like Cannonball. Really? Yeah, I always like them. All right, my second will be Diamond Head. Then. I think they fall actually. Diamond Head and Cannon. Yeah, I think they. I, did. I think every, I think Diamond Head was just holding this nigga. Yeah, this man, no cap. But he blasts his fire. Like he could be mad OP. Yeah, like just increasing his like his heat signature. Mm. Yeah, he's fine. That's tough. That's tough. And he could fly, right? Yeah, ladies. Like looking back at it, these, this is a very. I like the aliens. This is really creative. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, yeah, that guy's tapped in. Mm-hmm. But let us know who won in the draft and shit like that. No, I, I had to win. That upgrade holding you down though. Why? That's a good first pick. <laughs> oh, that's the only one holding me down. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say Alien X. Then upgrade, it would have been over. So that's so cheesy. I got Gray Matter and Clockwork, so I felt I felt great. Fuck Gray Matter. A we smart go. person who created the Omnitrix. He did. And then someone who could control time. What's up? I don't even remember when Clockwork was ever like came about, bro. No, I remember because I played TKO on Cartoon Network. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was there. He would fight like this. My internet was. You, didn't you have to have a certain plugin to play that game? Yeah, I didn't have that, bro. If they would just forget, I know a lot of people like DC Universe. If they would bring back Fusion Fall... Oh, that would be so fun. I'm not even going to lie. That would be mad fun. I would play it right now. Like, you can be like... Wasn't... Like, you, you would have to fight an evil version of a cartoon character, and then you would unlock them to play with you. Yeah, that was that tough. That was so fire. That was tough. That was I like had a, Billy, I had Ed. I had I had a, a Guardo, I remember, because I was Eduardo? mad at Sarah, I had a Guardo. <laughs> <laughs> See how random that is? I had a Guardo. The, from a uh, Fossil Home Matter, your friend? Yes. He was on my thing. And then I remember I joined my friend. He was on some lava map. And he dipped, and I was just stuck there. Really? And I couldn't leave, cause it was too OP. The moment I step, I die. <laughs> so I just, I was just stuck there, and that's that. And then the game ended, like before I could figure out how to leave. Damn, bro. Fusion Fall was so fun. The cover art was fire. With like it was on the front next yeah. to Dexter. Mm-hmm. That was a good time. It was, it was before his time, bro. A lot of things before his it time. It was laggy, bro. and a lot of people like. Fritz, oh yeah. Fritz said he never got to really play. Yeah, me neither. Like I would, I played it probably like a couple of times, but like I would really like lag out. Or like freeze a lot. I would really freeze a lot. That like you had to go, have some good connection. That was fun. Damn, that bro. Was a great game. Bring that back, please. Hey, who, who who's that? Cartoon Network. Yes. Hey, bring that. They don't. Even, I don't think they make like they uh, computer games cartoon? no more. Yeah. Probably. They definitely don't. Cartoon Network probably dumb trash. Like the website. Yeah. Trash. I wanna one day I look at it. Yeah. All right. So would you rather go to jail for ten years or go to jail only on the weekends for the rest of your life? Ten years straight. Ten years straight. Or, or on the weekend? On the weekends, every weekend for the rest of your life. Living my current life? Living your current life right Damn. now. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so right now, 10 years. Yeah, like right tomorrow now. tomorrow I go. Tomorrow you go in, and then you won't be out till you're like, what? 30-something. 30 30-something. 30 I was thinking about doing that, but that's a long... Yo, jail is scary. I might do just a weekend because... I didn't, the reason I didn't want to is because like I'm trying to relax after I work. That's what I'm saying. So now you now your break is in jail. Oh, what if I work on the weekends at jail? What, what if I mean? work in the jail? I mean, you could, but like, how much money can you really make for fifty real? cent an hour? <laughs> like, 
I'm gonna just use the. I'm gonna do the jail on the weekends, and I'm gonna just work out there. You just gonna work out? Yeah, I'm just gonna work out. I'm probably be cool with a couple people for two days. Two days, yeah. They know I'm in and out, bro. I don't want no troubles. Look, Damn. I'm already I already got my speech ready. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in and out, bro. I don't want no troubles. Damn, no but school, now you gotta bro. rest of my life. Now you gotta go back to work. Nah, I'm gonna have to work Tuesday to Thursday. Unless, I mean, you know what? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Those are my only days I work. That's clean. That's clean. But yeah. you you really can't get like a high paying job for all that. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Like, a, like an actual salary. Yeah, I'm going to become a truck driver. <laughs> that's, that's or an Amazon true. driver. Worked them 12 hour shifts. Tuesday, yeah, Wednesday, Thursday. That's it. That's true. Monday and Fridays, I'm all. Saturday, Damn, Sunday, though. Monday. Like, that's really limited on your bread, though. Yeah. Like, I maybe. Gotta, I got to have a partner that understands. Maybe once you, like, maybe once you retire and shit like that, that'll be clean. Like, you just yeah. go on the weekends, you know, just go. That'd be clean. That'd yeah. be clean. Like, you retired. When I'm 60, right? Yeah. yeah that's valid. Like, they're not going to fuck with you. you 60. What the fuck are you going to do? 10 man? years in a pen, that's going to mess up, like, my jobs. Like Mess up your job, mess up your mental. A lot of shit happens. No, I'm not, I'm not with none of that. Like, there was, I was watching this dude on TikTok. Like, he just got out of prison. I think he did, like, like 20-something years. So, like, when he got into prison, like, you know, you can get your uh, GED and things like that. So, he's about to go. So, the person, I guess, like, the psychiatrist or, like, the... There's like counselors in there that, that let you know like what you're getting into. So there's like, oh, you can get your GED for high school, and then you can get like your your forklift license so you can work. So he's like, I right, bet I'm gonna go do that. That's fire. So he went online though, and the niggas was like, Yo, you what you doing? He's like, Yo, I'm about to go get my GED. So he's like, Nah, bro, you gonna come with us? Well, if you do that, then we going like it's gonna be bad for you for your time here. You can either come with us, roll with us, and we are gonna keep you safe, or you can do that, and you might die. Cause niggas, like they be in jail. Like for new people, like to get initiated, they go. They have you like go like stab people. They be like, "All right, do this. Hey, take this shit right here. Go and go crazy." Like you gotta actually do shit just to be a part. So once he got into it, he's like, "You know, fuck, I'll be in it." He tried to like he went up in the ranks, so he was like the third highest like rated gang member in the whole like state, like the whole state prison. Like he made that high, and like that was like his whole goal for like when he was in prison. So like he'd be that on the top, and like it was to a point where like he can go into like the kitchen. And get like food, like get food made for him. Like, yo, make me a burger, go make me a milkshake type shit. Like for the workers. Yeah, that much stain. Yeah, bro. But then there was a there was a new guard that came in and was like, yo, what the fuck you doing in here? He's like, bro. He's like, who is you? And he was like, bro, I'm the new guard. Like, yo, I could really like ruin your life right now. That's what the guard said to him. He's like, bro, let me let me be honest with you. If I kill you right now, all I would get is seven years in solitary confinement. But your wife and kid will not have a father, and I'm I don't have no wife and kids, so I'm good. So you could pick. And the man was like, nah, get that nigga two burgers, bro. On sight. Two burgers? Yeah. He a cop with a gun on him. That's what I'm saying. Nah, he pussy. <laughs> he pussy? You can't work in a jail and then a comment like that, man. Come, <laughs> come, come on, bro. That's crazy, Me bro. and you? Regular people? <laughs> Civilians? Yeah. All right, you got it, big bro. You want four burgers? <laughs> Person who just did the whole police academy, like, what's the point? I know, isn't don't you got like a mental thing? Like, shouldn't you be like, yeah, like, ready for shit like that? If you can't take it, you know <laughs> I don't know, bro. That shit. And like, he's out now, and he's basically just going around like telling people, like, like he's like a motivational speaker, like telling people, like, jail is not always the answer, like to like uh, kids and stuff like that. Supposedly, I don't know. When I heard that story, I was like, he's mm. black, black dude, yeah. <laughs> gotta make that money. Nigga. Hey, fuck it, bro. It should make no sense. Um. Let me let me ask this one more question. One question. So, would you accept five hundred million dollars, but randomly every month, for ten seconds, ten random people will jump you? What? <laughs> so for five hundred million dollars a month, mm. every month, once a month for the rest of your life. Five hundred million dollars. Five hundred million dollars a month. No, five hundred million dollars in general, not a month. Mm. So every month for the rest of your life, for ten seconds, some ten people, ten random people will jump you. Definitely, I'm taking it. You would take it? Yeah. Oh, that's fine. Damn, that's quick. Yeah. <laughs> 10 seconds? Yeah, 10 seconds. They jump at me. Yeah. No weapons, just hands and feet. Just hands. And feet. Yeah. Yeah, I'm taking that. But like, what if like you walk past like some Aki niggas? No, nah, one person could fight 10 people. Really? If you train. Oh, you going to train? You can fight You can fight 10 people. <laughs> 500 mil, I can't get a trainer? That's true. You could. I can't fight 10 people? I thought you was going to say you get bodyguards. No, nah, I don't even need that. That's true. You gonna defend yourself? Yeah, let's <laughs> learn. I was gonna take it too, though. That's a good. I never. I didn't have like an actual like alibi. Bro, I done seen. You ain't seen that Detroit nigga was teaching people self defense when you go like these. Oh, the you, shit that you yeah. Had. <laughs> you gonna hire that nigga? Bro, I'm gonna have to learn one hit hit one hit knockouts. Nigga, I might. Have I'm to gonna t- study the definition of. So, a but knockout. you won't. You won't have the toolie on you though. That's what I'm saying. That's what I said. My hands. Okay. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna learn karate. Like. Like, it's type, up. like type I, shit? I don't have to work no more. What am I doing in my free time? Learn to fight. That's true. That's true. I need to defend myself for 10 seconds. That's not bad. That is light. It's bad. Sweet chin music. Bow. First dude. <laughs> fall down. There's nine left. 
Well, it's the that's the big show punch. Second dude, easy. I'm gonna just chop the third one. Like, like, and chop. then by the time you're done, they probably it's this like shit gonna be seconds. over. Yeah. Oh, that's clean. I'm telling you, it's gonna be like the people could change too. You won't get look. I'm asking for a different roster. What? You give me different ten people to jump. No, be it'd be random ten people. Oh, so yeah, anybody around them. you, bring them. That's tough. Bring them and them. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny as hell. Nah, that's light. Five hundred mil. Yeah. Ten seconds. Easiest five hundred mil you ever made in your life. Yo, come on. That's why I was like, what did you say? Ten <laughs> seconds. If it was thirty, I would let them beat me for ten seconds. <laughs> I might be like, man, go ahead. Let me learn how to take a punch. And I'll let them hit me. So what if it was 30 seconds? Like what 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 time period would it change? Like you gotta think about like ah this 15 minutes. Oh, like a like fighting a fighting 10 people for 15 <laughs> minutes? 15 fighting 10 people for 15 minutes once a month? You might die. <laughs> you, that's, that's 15 a- minutes? <laughs> That's OD I ain't gonna lie That's crazy <laughs> Ain't nobody doing that No matter how much Training you got No weapons No weapons Nah then you need The bodyguards they, they, But what if you get The bodyguards And they turn on you 30 people <laughs> For 10 minutes <laughs> Nah 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 they can't. 500 mil though I get beat up for 15 minutes. <laughs> See, every time I think of the price, I'm like, all right, bring me back down. I do, I do it. Hey, bro. I do it. You got anything you want to talk about? Oh, yeah, the better shows. Ah, right, let me hear it, bro. So I'm just asking you, and you're just going to pick which one's the better show. Yeah. Now let us know if we're wrong, bro. Don't be. So the better show, number one, Hannah Montana or Drake and Josh? Drake and Josh. Why? I feel as though I liked Hannah Montana, but I think when I was a kid, I thought it was a girl show. So I like I didn't really like make me go towards it as much, but I still watched it. It was still a good show. But I thought Drake and Josh like really. I think I like the whole concept about it and all the. I used to, you know, nah, you know what was funny about Drake and Josh that made me be afraid to have a little sister because of Megan. Because of Megan, I swear to God, when I found out I was having uh, Libby, my little sister, I was gonna, I, I cried. Why? I, I broke down in tears. Did you see bro. Carly? Uh yeah, you but I was watching old, that Carly. Yeah, I was old you know, enough. Look at Megan. Yeah, it was fine. It was but, cool. But I like Drake and Josh. I, I grew up more on Drake and Josh. I disagree with you. I think Hannah Montana is a better show. Really? Yeah, definitely. And I'm a guy. That's Why? Crazy. It was such. Is a it because the movie? <sighs> Drake and Josh movie was good yeah, too. Yeah, when it went to Hollywood. Yeah. Uh 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 uh. Everybody, yeah, let's go running the down and down. Let's try to uh, uh, da, 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 da. that sounds crazy. Drake was Drake Bell was killing that. Yeah, but not the Christmas movie. Song. Yeah, and the Drake and Josh I'm Christmas movie. Golden Ring. What was that Drake nigga? What was that, that dude name? What he used to say all the time? I was about to say should be. <laughs> not should be. It was, you talking about a dude that did that? Yeah, yeah what was it? He did that finger in his mouth and popped it. What did he it say? Was that fat dude. Yeah, he's like Indian. What did he say? He, I don't remember. What the fuck did he I don't say? Remember. While you find that out, I will think about. I'm gonna explain why Hannah Montana is the better show. Go ahead. Hannah Montana is the better show because one had a better plot line. It was more unique. It had a better theme song. Damn, theme song is crazy though. <laughs> You get the limo out front. Damn. Ooh, ooh, damn. All the styles, every shoe, every cut. How Drake and Josh go again? Um, Damn, I was about to say Zoe 101. Yeah, I was crazy. I almost said, I know, you see. That's like Carly. How Drake and Josh theme song go? Damn, my mind's like like kind of blank right now. (laughs) Drake and Josh. Damn. Woo, they gonna kill us. Damn. I don't remember how I go. Hold on. What am I doing? Safari. I gotta find it's disgusting. One. Google Chrome always. Oh, you've been using Google Chrome? I just remember how the video go. How does Dragon Jazz theme song go? Uh as you find the theme song. <sighs> Emma Tan's a better show because when I remember when she was dealing for her brother Oliver, shout out Oliver. Then the other dude that liked her that liked her best friend. Find out if Damn, he's so how we not simple, remember that? That's because Hannah Montana better. Find a way. I find a way. No, Hannah Montana better, though. The theme song's better. Jay, can you, figure out, can you find the shit what the nigga said from the Drake and Josh Christmas movie? The little Indian dude? Like, what he used to say? You, you, you really don't remember. I don't remember, but it was... But bro, bad. Hannah Montana had better songs. Okay. Better storylines. Had the relationship drama when she had the two the two boyfriends. And then she was like, he could be the one. Oh, that was, hard. That, was one. hard. that was hard. That was he hard. That was hard. That was hard. I was sitting there like, damn. But ja- I Drake, is, I mean, Drake, and, Drake was a hoe. Yeah, he got mad girls. It was yeah. cool. Name, name a, a Drake and Josh episode. Name like two. When they got the freaking grills. 
Like remember when oh, they, yeah, they, yeah, they yeah, bought they the grills and they yeah, got scammed yeah. like that? Mm-hmm. And then uh when they went to oh the one uh when they did that bet when they couldn't Drake couldn't eat uh uh what's it called? Drake couldn't eat unhealthy foods and Josh couldn't play video games. Yeah, the that's, spare, the yeah, spare. That's, that's my favorite one. Damn. You don't remember the episode of Hey Montana when she was like well not she, but it was a little rat looking dude. And it was oh, all the, the 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 boy, yeah, the little dude. He was like, "I'm the man who had the cheese. I'm the man who had the jerk it. We put that thing <laughs> oh, together, that man. It, man, it really worked. The cheese I'm, jerk I remember it. that one. That okay. junk was fire. <laughs> no, and then she had concerts. Okay, no, I think Anna Montana. I think it's a, that's a good that's a good that's fight. That's a though. good like I, that. I don't know. Like you gotta let the comments go. Oh, that was a good one. Look, we putting guys against girls. <laughs> oh God, I'm, I'm with Anna Montana. Oh way, God, bro, that's way better. For the next one, the better show will be between Phineas and Ferb and Fairly Odd Parents. Um, I low key think Fairly Odd Parents is kind of overrated to a point. I think it's overrated because they try to drag it. Like it went too long. Yeah, they they started adding like new people. Now he has to share his fairies. So it went out sad. It went out very sad. Phineas and Ferb went out like damn. Like when it went out, I was like damn. I'm not even gonna watch this shit again. I was kind of sad. So I, I like Phineas and Ferb more. They're gonna hate me. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna hate me. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I think Fairly Our Parents are better. Show. Fairly Our Parents. It is, did end bad. Though. It ended bad. That's the only. But do you remember? The, did you see the movies? Uh, which ones? The channel. The channel. Yeah. Chases? Oh, that's fire. Remember the episode with the cupcake? The movie with the cupcake. The, the one, muffin. Like, a, yeah, the muffin. And okay. Then a gorilla like you know, ran over the. World. You know what? That's crazy. That okay. I would I would pick that just because of the movies. But like, I was really just thinking about the now. Show? Yeah, it was thinking about the ending. Bro, the fucking mu- the muffins. Like if you take a bite, you could make a wish. Yeah, and then a monkey made a wish. That was crazy. And then it was like monkey. That, that like, was playing so, of the apes. That was, that was so good. Fire. That was that good. Was so fire. Okay, you gotta convince but, me. That was but, crazy. But Phineas and Ferb was really good too. It was. But Especially like, for the time period. But I feel like with Phineas and Ferb, it's kind of like, I know what we're going to do today. And yeah. Mention, Candace finds it. It wasn't really nothing it different. It was consistent. That's why everybody loved it. Like, mm-hmm. You know what to expect from it. The movies was good, too. Yeah. But it's not like, like what do you remember from it? Besides Doofenshmirtz and Perry the Platypus. And, but when Perry the Platypus, like, uh, his identity was revealed. Oh. Um, what do you remember? No, nah, that was that was sad. When, like... They was like fighting together, and then he had to like, yo, I gotta erase your memory now, type yeah. shit, like like Spider Man. That that was that was a good movie, but I mean, I remember, I remember some of the, like mostly just the shows, like when they made uh, when Phineas and Ferb made the uh, I don't remember they made so much they made the the little the little uh the snow mountain in the backyard, and it was like a ski ski resort. I remember that one. What were we talking about? I know, right? What were they make <laughs> me and that they made a big they made a diner diner truck. Like on the go, like niggas on a road trip. <laughs> niggas made a whole dining truck on the road. What? Like niggas, like yo, I'm bored. They hopped out the back of the V and started and made a whole like driving diner on top of the car. So like, like you, they're driving and you got to drive on top of the thing to go into the diner. Oh, and then, and then while they were doing that, like Doofus first made an evil invention. Yeah, it would end up. Yeah, that's good. That's a good show. It was. It was good. It was like it was but a good. Fairly our parents would hit. Nah. Chip Skylarks. Yeah, that's when it would hit. It would hit. It would. That would. It would hit crazy. That's a good one. But I, I would take Fairly Odd Parents. You kind of convinced me with that one. Yeah, the Hand on Ten Drinking Jazz. I still don't know. That's, yeah, that's that one's that's, that's up little, in the air. That's really fifty fifty. All right, so that's so Raven or Victorious. I uh, I didn't really watch that's so Raven too much, but I'll pick. Uh, so I will pick Victorious just because like I watched it more than that's a Raven. It is the better show. But if you had to choose between I Carly and Victorious. Damn, that's like two different like points in my life. That's like I'm going victorious. I'm an Ariana Grande fan. I thought Andre was mad funny. It had better songs. I Carly is a classic. Random dancing. Yeah, baby. I get the freaking it. T-shirts with just random words yeah. on it. Friday, Saturday. I remember it. But, <laughs> uh, I'm going with. I'm going victorious. I go with victorious too. Yeah, I think victorious and Zoe 101 is like right there. Really? Yeah, I would still pick victorious. Did you like Nesdy Classified? It was great. I like that shit in middle school. They talking about bringing it back. Nah, don't bring it back. It's what the, the fuck they gonna do? Like, with iCarly? I don't know. How to survive the world as adults? Know. I don't know what they're gonna do with that. Don't bring them niggas back. So between Zack and Cody or Big Time Rush? Oh, that hurts. I'm not even gonna lie. Because every time I think of Zack and Cody, I just reminds me of just like waking up in the morning, like right yeah, before school. That. It's like Sweet Life on Deck was cool. That was great. I, I like Sweet Life. I'm on like deck. when they at the end when they was saying goodbyes in London called uh, Mister Mosby like I'm gonna miss you type shit. Yeah, I got yeah. sad. That was yeah, crazy. Yeah, that was. Uh, I'm gonna go with. Are we talking with Sweet Life on Deck too, or just Zack and Cody? Because if you want to put Sweet Life on Deck, I think that's be- big time rush though. What's the better show? I'm a, I'm gonna pick Zack and Cody. I think Zach and Cody's the better show, 
with I, I like Big Time Rush. I do too, I, but like, I, I like but like Zach and Cody had like the 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 um the surprise guests all the time and shit like yeah, that. Chris Brown was up there. Chris Brown was up Esteban there. Esteban Ricardo or Jesus. Yeah, yo, Ramo, I fuck. I'm still. I don't even know that, that, that name was so long, but it was it was a great show. And Mr. Mosby's a classic. Everybody knows Mr. That's Mosby. what I'm saying. Like, that yeah, shit, so. like, I would literally wake up in the morning, like, damn, I gotta go to school. But I would watch Sweet Life of Zach and Cody and make me happy. But if you rewatch both, Big, Big Time, Time Rush, Rush probably is gonna hit It better. would. It might. I don't know. It's probably it's gonna hit better because I rewatched it recently. It was hitting. I was still laughing. Really? James is a funny guy. James is <laughs> a funny guy. But like even with the sweet the sweet love of Zach and Cody with all like the shows. Remember when the Christmas when they was in the freaking stuck in the elevator? Yeah, but have you ever went back to watch Zach and Cody? I, d- I actually did. When I first got Disney Plus, I watched it. So you watched because yeah. I haven't went back for I did go back for Big Time Rush. I watched the the, the s- songs. Really? Okay, the yeah. Songs the songs play are, uh Play a the good songs are what elevates it. It really brings big time. That's like that's like Hannah Montana, Drake, and Josh. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that's the 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 people that's afraid to show their little feminist side. Go say big. T- we're weird for say big time, time rush. rush. You know yeah. they be. They not tapped in. They that not... song was those songs were saying boyfriend and worldwide. Worldwide, you might find more people that knows those songs than watch Zach and Cody. That's true. That's not crazy. <laughs> we Bro, went to the concert. That was lit. I ain't gonna lie. Go to big time rush concert if y'all ever. Yeah, don't be afraid. Went, it was like it was like what do you think. 4,000, 5,000? At least. Minimum Just because because that was the thing. That was the whole thing. I know. that it was, it was limited. That's why. Yeah. It was a whole thing behind us. There was and at least 2,000 people in front of us. We was yeah. in the front front. Yeah. That was lit, bro. It was like 4,000 people. There. That this was, is a park. This, is, this ain't I mean, a venue. This, this is a inside. park. <laughs> this is a park. In the middle of the hood in Philly. And it was mad white, young people. Y- young white people. I have never seen that so many Caucasians. That means they were watching it on Netflix. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Hell that yeah. That, that, they didn't watch it on Nickelodeon all the time. Came A new episode came out at 7 o'clock on Friday nights and shit like that. Yeah, they, was, they wasn't They was tuned in. Bro. What's that guy's name? He would, he would always call them dogs. Uh, uh, I said Gustavo. Gaspacho. I was going to say Gaspacho. That's from Chowder. No, Gustavo. Yeah, Gaspacho. <laughs> Gustavo. <laughs> Yeah, that's close, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the edge to Zach and Cody, but me I, personally, it's like Big Time Rush, I think. That's tough. For me, it's the better show. That's tough. That's tough. So between Lilo and Stitch or Jimmy Neutron? This is very uh, this is a big sleeper because niggas forget that Lilo and Stitch, they used to like hunt the aliens down each episode. Yeah. And each alien had its own power and they had to like, that was tough. Yeah. And then the movies, fucking- The movie came out first and it, it did so yeah. well, they made a show. That's the same thing with Jimmy Neutron. Yeah, so that's so, why it's crazy. Uh, that's that's good, that's good. That's oh. why it's crazy. Because Jimmy Neutron- Was fired. Like, the movie was right when, they, when the parents was like taking away or something? From the was, aliens. Yeah, it was like- and then, and then it was like no parents in the world, so they started going crazy. And then they started that's really like, fine. oh, I need parents. That's, remember that candy? Yeah. That's where the nerds made that thing mm-hmm. from off that- That's- I feel like mad people are going to say Jimmy Neutron. I think so too, but like Lilo and Stitch was so good though. Oh, what's Ohana the means show. What did what does Stitch say? Ohana means family. Family, family means, means no one, one gets, gets left, left behind. behind. <laughs> Yo, he barely spoke English. Barely when spoke, he did, he was preaching. Oh God, bro. So, oh, and Jimmy Neutron was probably the better show. I love Jimmy Neutron, bro. But Lilo Stitch that that had good meaning. That had good meaning behind it. I, I'm, I want to. Six, six. This is really hard. This is a hard. Damn, this is hard. It's a hard one. Yeah. Fuck. How am I going to make a clip out of this shit? I'm going to try it though. I don't know. You might have to do two of them. I'm going to do part twos. Oh, my God. Because Lilo is such a Jimmy Neutron. Shit. I don't know. They both kind of like left a good like feeling in my heart. Because without the Jimmy Neutron, I wouldn't have the Jimmy Timmy Power Hours. That's what I'm saying. And I love those movies. And I know in Lilo Stitch, there was, like a, there was like a merger. I forgot what it was, though. Yeah, there was probably. Don't know who it was, though. It was- I think... Actually, I could search that up because somebody showed up at the door. Yeah, I think it was Kim Possible. Yeah, it was Kim Possible. It was Kim Possible. It was Kim Possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the, the little rat, he was like yeah. looking at Stitch, like, "Who the fuck is this nigga?" Yeah, yeah. yep, yep. Lilo and Stitch is crazy. It was. I remember when that girl came. Yeah. And oh, that, the the girl Stitch. Yeah. yeah and yeah. then it was that yellow alien that like eating the sandwiches. Uh, what's his name? It was like. Two five, his name is two five six. Yeah, <laughs> two five six, and his his only you know his only power was making sandwiches. Yeah, he was fire at making sandwiches. <laughs> he made the Chopped best cheese, anything. Nah, That's I'm not a, funny. I might, <laughs> I might have to go Lilo and Stitch, bro. But Carl Weezer, no, Carl was crazy Ultra trying to Lord? mess with Jimmy's mom and Sheen. Oh my God, he was like yeah. really horny for his her mom, bro. his mom, bro. And the way he talked, because they made like a Carl Weezer. Remember when he was singing Red Bone? Yeah, <laughs> stay won't. Yo, that was crazy. I don't know. Damn, that's a hard one. I don't even want to answer. That might be up there with the Hannah Montana Drake. Yeah, that might be up. There. I don't even want to uh, answer that one. I even go uh, lie no, to I'll you. I let the people pick that one. Yeah, I, pick that shit. I really don't know. 
Ah, uh, you seen Legend of Korra? I did. All right, so I haven't. So what's the better show between Legend of Korra or Kim Possible? It's cra- um Legend of Korra is very slept on. I heard it's very slept on. It's pretty good. Never saw it. I heard there's blood bending though. There is there's a lot of that. it's a lot of it's like a spin. It's like a extra year of like it's so like it's like after Aang and them like kind of like passed away type shit. So it's like all they did is like is like a, a practice now. So like you know Katara did blood bending, Toph did the the metal, metal bending. bending. So now everybody knows how to do metal bending now. So it's kind of I like the concept of it, but outside the concept, I really don't remember too much. But Kim Possible, I don't even remember Kim Possible that much either. Do you remember her a lot? I remember her and Ron danced. That's what I'm saying. He, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And like he finally got I, got I think, the friend zone type I remember shit. Remember Ron like eating nachos or something. Yeah, I think I, all, all I remember is that one girl with the black hair. She go. Yeah, she go. I remember her and like when they was at they always be like at the end they always go to this one restaurant. And they little that little rat be yeah, always yeah, eating the nachos. Yeah, that's what I said, the nachos. Yeah. yeah, so I don't really know. This is good. I mean, Legend of Korra was good. I'll I'll pick it because the Only first you can answer. I haven't seen it. I'll pick I'll pick Legend of Korra. Legend of Korra because the first the first the first season was pretty good. It was good. Yeah. How many seasons is there? Three, about two, maybe Call two me, or three. Beat one of them. Me if you wanna reach me. me. I remember she was on, oh, jet ski, nah, like that's on a, the mountain. That joke was fire. God. And there was like a bomb blowing up. I'm not gonna lie, that that wind doesn't doesn't matter, matter when I'll be with you to the very end. Did Miley Cyrus then write that? Pick, I, I, my, Did you uh, a trouble? I'm there, there on the, the double. That's just crazy. Uh, but I don't know. I just had to sing that song for. I'm not gonna lie, that shit might have just carried over. No, nah, I can't. Nah, I can't. can't, I, can't, song, can't make it I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Nah, because I, I don't even know if Legend of Korra had a uh, thing. It didn't. Song. It was like the Avatar shit. It just started. Yeah. So nah, I ain't gonna, I'll give it to Legend of Korra, bro. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then the last one should be pretty easy. Okay. The last one is Proud Family, or Zoe 101. This is Zoe 101. Simple, easily. It's Zoe 101, but Proud Proud Family was still good. Proud Family was great. It was great. But it's Zoe 101. Yeah, like that's that's, that's it's. Like, I mean, I, I to I'm not gonna lie. When I was a kid, I couldn't even watch shows like that. I used to sneak that shit. So I went on one. I was like, it was like I was like, I think I was like six or five or six at the time. My parents wouldn't let me watch it because there was teenagers in it. They didn't really know much about it. I, mean, oh, I think so they, they probably thought it was like a college show, like a reality show, because where they're at. So they probably did. that's why they didn't want want me to watch that shit. But I still watched some of it. I haven't seen it so. Long. I, remember, I don't like how it didn't didn't end. Right, Chase never really got her. No, because she got pregnant. Yeah. And then they couldn't really finish it. That's Britney Spears' sister, right? Mm-hmm. Jamie Lee Spears. Yeah, I didn't know that until like recently, for real. Yeah, that's and crazy. then I kind of see it now. She but got like, pregnant it makes sense though. She was kind of valid. She got pregnant at like fifteen though. That's crazy. Like niggas is shooting the club up that early. If you was fifteen, <laughs> you were early, I did the same thing. That's crazy. She got bread. She had bread though. But she, just imagine how much more bread she would have had, though. You know if that show continued? If it continued. That's what I'm saying. Know. That's some crazy... Like, that's that's crazy-ass, like, coincidence. Like, why the fuck that shit literally end like that? Mm-hmm. It had to end like that for real, bro? I still think Victorious is up there with it. It, it is, though. It is. It's but really remember good. when Zoe 101... It, Victorious 101 is so good because a lot of people's favorite character isn't even the main character. For what, Victorious? Or yeah, Zoe? nobody really, like... Yeah, that's Victoria's what I'm saying. Cool. Like, a lot of people like Kat or, like, Andre or Beck or Jade. Or um, Robbie. Or Robbie. That's the that's the dog. That's the that's the nigga who had the dog. Well, yeah, yeah. Or what's Robbie. The, what's yeah, the, what's dog the dog name? name? Rex. 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 Or the count. The teacher. The guy. Yeah. Boy, yeah. Like nobody would be like Tori. Like no. yeah. You like they, everybody had an equal role of like. Yeah, that joke like was that. like fire. Zoe one one. It was close. It Logan. Was, I, I fuck with Logan. Logan was fired. A black dude. Nah, he didn't have an equal role. He was just comic relief. Yeah. Nah, that that movie where. They they introduced the little the little slide shit the little phones yeah. that's what made me want that phone I'm not even gonna lie to you yeah. that that movie when they I think it was like it was like it was like a like a game show type shit and it was like every hour that they would have like a challenge to do or something like that oh yeah and they had to follow it right that was yeah, tough. to try to get those phones mm-hmm. I think when that came out my mom got a sidekick really and I was playing it they had this game it was like a ball. They'll like bounce like through little things. Like oh yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know where that happened to that game. It was so fun. <laughs> I think I remember. It was so fun. I just, it just stopped existing. Yeah. Like, Wait, is it the one where you gotta bounce it on the thing cont- consistently? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, so that's crazy. I that game. Damn, that was a, that was a whole like roller coaster like nostalgia. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Did you you pick this list? Yeah. I just, that's crazy. I, I just thought of shows that I thought was like equivalent. that was good. I ain't gonna hold you. That Hannah Montana or that Drake and Josh, they gotta do. Please do yeah, it. Yeah, please. And that Jimmy Neutron. I'm a, or, I think I'm a, it's, it's Hannah Montana, Drake, and Josh, Zach and Cody, Big Time Rush, and Lilo and Stitch, and, and Jimmy, Jimmy Neutron, Neutron is the hardest one. Those I might make. I got to make a clip. I got to try to. Yo, those are the hardest ones. Please, I need, please I need answer that. TikTok. Just 
put it in the algorithm. I want to know. That, no, yeah, but I actually want to know. I really want to know. I don't even care if that shit. I, I just want to know who. Know. Like, that's take, crazy. I might, I might promote that shit, bro, just to see. Yeah, I really got. That's crazy. That's hard. Damn, that's that, tough, I really bro. think that Jimmy Neutron, Lilo Stitch is closer than people think. It is it's really close. It really is like that. Like, like the creativity part of Lilo Stitch is really like it's each really alien fire. at the, when the movie when they was firing the robots, they all came together. Wasn't that like an evil Stitch? Yeah, evil Stitch. <sighs> Lilo Stitch too. Yes, shit was. Cr- it was. I think his name was. What was his name? Glitch. I think his name was Glitch. Yo, remember when he was? Yeah, he was glitching. Yeah, was that? That was his own separate movie, right? Yeah, that was fire. That's what I'm saying. People don't know. No, nah, yeah, Leo, that's that's mad close. That's guy. That's it's it's close. way closer than I that's think. Way it's way closer than I yeah, think. Like, oh my god, people uh, born in 2003 confused. <laughs> that's uh, nah, that's they, facts. They like, I think I remember a blue alien. Like they have the niggas that's born in 2003. They like they adults now. Yeah, so they just watch an episode. Watch mm-hmm. an episode of both. Yeah, watch an episode, yeah. bro. But oh, I want to talk about this one thing. I was I I want to talk about this for a minute, but I never really got to put it on the pod because I thought uh, too many niggas talking about. It, but I want to talk about because it it's kind of nuts. So there's a whole like urban legend conspiracy about JFK and Abraham Lincoln and how they both how their lives like link together, and it's like really bad, like the coincidence. So I'm a, I'm gonna read it to you because it's a lot. So so if y'all don't know, right? Everybody. Y'all should know if y'all, unless you're not from America, JFK, Abraham Lincoln, President of the United States. Let me read to you all the coincidences between these guys. You ready? There's a lot. Oh boy. There's a lot, bro. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna try to get through the most of it though. So, so you know, both presidents were assassinated, right? Yep. So both were assassinated. Both presidents were elected to Congress in '46 and later to presidency in '60. So that means Lincoln was, I think, Lincoln was in 1846. And then was elected in 1860. Um, JFK was in 1946 and was elected in 1960. Okay. Both assassins was John Wilkes Booth and St- Lee Harvey Oswald were both born in 39s. So year 1839 and year 1939. Oh, shit. Booth, Booth ran from a theater, like the guy that killed Abe Lincoln. Mm-hmm. He ran from the theater and was caught in a warehouse. Oswald that killed JFK ran from the warehouse and was caught in a theater. What the fuck? This is all true. This is all facts. The the what? both of the both the people that assassinated the presidents were both southerners. Both of the president's successors was named Johnson. Like the president that after they died their both names was Johnson, Johnson and they were both na- born in 08. I saw, yo, this shit. So 1908 and 2008? 1908 and no, not 1808 and 1908. Both named Johnson. Bro, both presidents were shot in the back of the head on a Friday. On a Friday. They was both shot on the same day. Right. Wait, which one do you think is crazier though? Getting shot, like, I seen like someone like reanimated, like, which one? Making getting shot in the back of the head. Like the curtain behind them yeah. went back and then the gun just bopped. I think. Oh, what do you think was crazy? Getting shot, like sniped through the window. I think sniped through the window, crazy. Cause I'm just chilling. I mean, it was in a parade. The nigga was watching a movie. Yeah. But hold on. Both it says That's crazy. And it says both Oswald and Booth were assassinated before their trials, so they were both killed before they was ever got able to be trialed, bro. So like, let me let me see what else. There. There's a lot more, bro. Nigga. Yeah. Hold on. Let me I'm, see. At first, I'm like, is this reincarnation? But now I'm thinking like. I think it's like sim. It might be simulation, I think it's bro. CIA. CIA, you think so? Yeah. Like. Because I, I, everybody knows it's a conspiracy on JFK's death. What do you think it's about? I mean, there's a lot about it. Like, they say, like, he was about to, like... Um, he was about to do something. Uncover a hell of shit. Yeah. Same thing, but I think... But Abraham Lincoln was a racist that owned slaves. I heard... No, but I heard he but, tried to well, abolish it. Yeah, though. he did abolish it, though. But it's weird, though. Like, I feel like everything, like... He still owned slaves, though. That's the same. That's what I'm saying. Crazy. Same type shit. Like so niggas, crazy. niggas abolish slavery. You still got like five of them shit. But yeah. maybe they not. They but nice maybe they're them. not. They're not lab- labeled slaves anymore. I don't know. Shit's crazy. But I just think this is like this there's is more. Too, there's a lot, bro. There's like hold on. Let me see if I've seen the one that I didn't talk about. That's crazy, bro. Same days. Same days, bro. That the mo- uh both followed by a Johnson by a Johnson, bro. Hey, yo. And it's crazy because Lincoln and Kennedy each have like seven. They both have seven letters. Like the names wise. Hey, yo. So it's like, like, you know how they say history repeats itself? Yeah. This might be like proof that kind of does. Like in a way, but like, say, say we get a president. But nothing happened in 08. What do you mean? Did anything happen in 2008? Nothing. Not for 08. That's when the, their successor was born. <sighs> so that means 
if there's a president named Johnson in 19, what, 19, in, in 2000, like 60 something, and he was born in 08, nah, that shit's like, I really, mean, yeah, someone was supposed to die. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, a, like, so, like, say we get to like year 2046 or 2000, no, 2060, and then our president gets assassinated, then that's kind of weird. Three years in a row, bro, that's kind of nuts. Why nobody really talks about this? I don't know. I feel like they think it's like a little urban legend, but it, it kind of, they pe- they think it's like the simulation. Everything just like cycles through. Because like, you know, I guess in 1920, that's when like the big Spanish plague came out, like something like COVID, 1920. And then we're going in. And then I think after that, they went into a recession. Now we're in a recession right now. And then after the recession came the depression. So we're kind of in that area. And then after the depression, I think that's when the war hit, like World War Two. We're already them niggas have been in war right now. So, but we just haven't got into it yet. So you don't know. We don't know if that's gonna, like, portray yeah. and shit. So I don't know. It, I was just re- I was listening to it uh, after the war. After the war, everybody started having sex. Everybody came back home. Isn't that the boomers? The baby boomers? Yeah, the baby boomers. Cause yeah, everybody shit. came back home and started fucking. They needed that shit, bro. Yep. All that stress. Yep, that's the next part. <laughs> <bark. laughs> that's the next hey, part. That's the next part. And then, the, then a new drug will come out. Like, yep, it starts all over. Oh, hey, bro. Ebola gonna come back. Shit, nah, fuck that, bro. But I was just, I was reading about that because I just thought that was crazy as coincidence. Bro. No, that's a, that the, is insane. The day is nuts. Friday, they both killed on a Friday, bro. Yeah, both shot in the head. One went to a theater, the other went to the the warehouse, and I and think, vice versa. and I think Lincoln, di- I think the the theater that Lincoln died in was named Ford, and the the car that uh, JFK died in was a Ford. That's OD. I don't know, bro. That's insane. That's nuts. What whichever historian thought uh, came up with that shit, bro, or actually figured it out because these are all facts. Like this is not no they could have this all happened. Yeah, that's some sick. That's crazy, bro. We in a loop, bro. Nigga, we might that be in the Matrix insane. for real. But looking back at it, the president of the United States driving in an open car is also insane. Yeah. But, you know, they, they never probably thought of shit like that. That is also insane. But For, then again, people used to be able to smoke cigarettes on the airplanes. Cig- Yo, they used to smoke it in school. Yeah, so. Like, you've seen at the high school, they had, like, smoking. They still had the little the little smoking area. You know, by the um by the weight room, they had that little area. That's where all the niggas yeah. used to smoke at. So, and I don't think... And that was when I think smoking was popular after the war too, or during the mm-hmm. war, something like that. Niggas like started smoking mm-hmm. hella tobacco. That shit used to be in the. I think I heard. I think I heard it was in that pack, that, that little little food pack, or whatever packs they would have when they get sent out. Yeah, yeah, they get oh, cigarettes. They have cigarettes in mm-hmm. it. And like, I remember, I used to watch. There used to be kids smoking cigarettes. Like you, be, niggas were smoking cigarettes at like sixteen. Like, oh yeah, the outsiders. Remember yeah, that? yeah, the outsiders. Yeah, yeah. Pony Boy and them. Oh damn, just smoking cigs. I was that was like, a good uh, movie. Okay, it was. It was valid. Did they, you watch? Did you read the book? I did. In, the, in class, they made us read it, and then mm-hmm. we watched the movie. I liked it. Why don't they remake that? Oh, that'll be fire! I'm not that. I'll rewatch. That'll be dope. Who was the who, and like the who who killed the nigga? What was the nigga? I name? don't remember. I just remember the two. The they went on a run. Yeah, because and he was, he was getting jumped by one of the niggas, and he protected him. He killed him. And yeah, shit like that. that's fire. Mm-hmm. And the nigga was on like a train, burnt his hands type shit. Fire! Bring yeah. that, re- remake that. Bring that shit back, people. Mm-hmm, that's but it. And, and white people gonna love it. It's white. <laughs> <laughs> so bring Got Caucasians back. in that shit. They need to make a movie on George and Lenny for um. From what? What was that called again? That book. There was another book we read with George and Lenny, the big dude. He was a little special though, and then the other dude. Um, that's not a streetcar named Desire, was it? Nah. That's some book about a dude named George and Lenny. That junk was fire though. Look it up real quick. Oh, they gotta bring that back. George and Lenny. Yeah, you don't remember because uh, I don't want to spoil it. Because <laughs> Lenny had to do something. Lenny had to do something to that dude. Of Mice oh. and Men. Oh, okay. I remember that. Yeah, that was dope. I like that book a lot. I, never, I don't remember the book, but I remember the name. I remember. I read, Bro, I read it was it. like two people together. One was special and the other one was like his protector. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, it's kind of like the Boy in the Striped Pajamas type sad. Type though. shit? Yeah. Oh. Did that you was, watch that movie? Yeah. I never. I didn't want to watch it because I heard it was really sad. It is sad. I don't want to watch it. Yeah, it's very <laughs> I don't sad. Wanna, I don't want to watch it. But, so, the last thing I want to talk about, you know, I want. I got some urban legends. Mm-hmm. So, people, comment your state down below, like how we always do every week. Comment your state down below if you want your new urban legend. So, I got one. It's in, in Ohio, right? Okay. So, this is called... It's called Helltown in Ohio. Yeah, the name is crazy. Okay. It's basically called that. Sh- 
Think about the leave. <laughs> nah, I just don't want that fully in my ears. I just want to just say it. Bro. I know my ears kind of kind of sweating. I was like, oh, he about to tell me that right into my earlobes. Like, <laughs> I don't want. I right, go ahead, tell me. But it's about not so basically. Hell town. It, yeah, so it's basically a, an abandoned town. And it was called that because there was a lot of murders that happened in that town, and it's supposedly like haunted. So the reason why it's abandoned is because there was a. Wait, it's really abandoned. Yeah, it's, a, it's an actual place. It's a town where no one lives. Yeah, it's a ghost town in uh, Ohio with buildings. With buildings. Schools, church, there's a church in the middle, hella shit. But so supposedly what happened was there was a government chemical spill and everybody had to evacuate the town. But then a lot of stuff started happening in town. Like there was a there's a um there's a school bus in the middle of the town and it's like a white school bus and they say that a serial killer hijacked the school bus and killed all the kids in the bus. And they say if you walk past the bus you can still see him in there, type shit. And they also say that there's like a like an underground like base or building underneath the town where there's like I guess they conducted like experiments and like on like things and created things and it the experiment actually got out loose into like the the town and shit like that. Maybe that's why them niggas like abandoned it. Like like Gravity Falls type shit. What? It's low key sound like when I heard that sound like Gravity Falls. Hey dude, would you ever go there? Um I the curiosity in me would, but I wouldn't like walk in there. I'm not that. I'm not that crazy. I would watch a video of somebody. Yeah, I would watch a video of it doing. But like, like you, you know me, Isn't We like hiking and shit. But like, if we yeah, go I there, do. but that's crazy. Like a whole, they said a whole building underneath the town, and it still exists. Still exists. Like you still, you could go there, but I think it's like guarded off by like the government. You ain't go there for Halloween. Well, it's in Ohio, nigga. Yeah, we gonna take a road how, trip. How far is that? Like nine hours. Not nah, too far. Might as well go see Jakai. <laughs> that's, that's way too far. I know, right? You know there's a steak shake over there? Where? In North Carolina. Yeah, it's in the South. I didn't know that. Really? When we go there and get in that. Yeah, this nigga said Helltown. I immediately took the headphones off. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what? How much money you need to go to live there? You can't live there. It's like abandoned. I think it's like a, a like a wasteland because like all the chemicals. It's illegal to live there? Yeah. Why do you live the chemicals there? Mm, it's like, you know, when radiation and shit like that, it's still like radius, so you really can't like... It's probably, I think they, they probably... Uh, Fence it off like for the like no trespassing in this area, but you know people find ways to get in there type shit. That's crazy. Hell no. Hell yeah. town. Hell no. Hell. <laughs> hell no. Hell not. No way. Ah, uh, when I heard that shit, cause I was looking for some some urban legends. I heard I seen a bunch of them, but Ohio, when I heard this one, where Braun from? Yeah, bro. The King. Mm-hmm. Akron. Hey. Nah, they trip. Cleveland. Nah, Bron a demon, literally. High key. Bron a demon. <laughs> Yo, what? Yeah, OD. If I ever meet Bron, I'm going to ask him. You think you, you might know about no, you it? You know Helltown? I'm from there. <laughs> <laughs> chill, chill. But. That's crazy. You got, you got anything else you want to talk about, my brother? Nah, I think it was. That's a good ending? No, <laughs> What the hell? What? Thank you again for pulling up, though, my brother. This is a good pod. I don't know if you get. Hey, bro, what's good? <laughs> <laughs> you talking about Hannah Montana, bro? Say yo, Helltown, like, huh? <laughs> I know okay. that was a crazy thing. You should have seen last week's. What was? La- Never mind. Don't you tell me. It was like Drewski went there. He went to Helltown. Nah, he went to Lake Lanier in Georgia. What's Lake Lanier? Basically, a town that was people was drowning. No, they didn't drown. It was a. It's a town that was full of like African Americans, and they 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 um they kicked them out of town. Like they ran them out of town, and they made it into a lake. But like they didn't tore, tear down anything, so like you still you still see houses, and there's like a whole cemetery like underground, like in the in the lake, like you could see it. It was a town where they kicked out the black people. They basically ran them out of the town, like all the neighboring white folks, name kicked them out of kicked them out of town, like killed them, all that shit. And they turned, they got something from the government to make it into a giant lake. And a lot of like after, so it's a lake surrounding the town. No, it's a the lake is the town. So like. The town is right here. They put water on top. Like, they flooded it, basically. Oh. And, like, there's still... You can still see houses. There's a church. And there's a whole big-ass, like, freaking um cemetery of bodies. There's, like, there's like hundreds of thousands of bodies still underneath the underneath the lake. And they said ever since they built it, there was, like, 700 deaths. Like, either freak accidents, people drowning. People talk about... They they feel people grabbing them and bringing them down, like, drowning them and shit. Bro, what? It's crazy, bro. And Drewski went there? Drewski went there for a video for, like, the, the boys. Remember when he had that YouTube channel? That was like the first episode, like uh, uh, camping at a haunted lake. I didn't really, I didn't think it was haunted. I thought he was kidding. 
I gotta go watch that now. I don't even know they still have the YouTube Not channel tonight, though. Bro. Not tonight, bro. Not tonight. Man, this guy. I'm gonna watch Finance and Ferb. I'm gonna be tweaking. Cause tweaking. Hey, bro. bro. But you got anything else you want to say to the peoples? Yo, I hope you are watching this in the daytime. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. It's a, just to the end. Man, you trying to fall asleep and you hear that? <laughs> you like hell time. This you is a lot. Searched it up. Shit, it's gonna, this is a lot. It could have been a lot worse, bro. Yo, bro. Go, this is why when people say Jersey ass, they tweaking. <laughs> I don't want nothing to happen here. If you want to get lit, you go to New York. It's right there. Yeah, that's true. Got Philly down there too. All the New York teams, pretty much all the, fo- the football teams, play in Jersey. Basically. Type shit. You take a train, you watch the Knicks and the Nets play. Hey, man. Bro, you save money, you just go to New York, bro. I don't need no lit nuts, bro. <laughs> if, they, if anybody ever want to come and do things to popular places, they go into New York. They ain't going to Jersey. Exactly. Hey, Chief Keith said you going to blow New Jersey up. That was for a chain. <laughs> that was like 30 years ago. We was playing that in the crib and bumping to it. Yeah, I know. We was singing yeah, blowing New, we New Jersey up. Jersey up. Yeah. Like, damn, he bro. He said, try to take my chain. And I ain't going. Nah, nah. He capping. <laughs> he was going. You want to do an outro song before we leave? Yeah, oh, let I'm me to you. let me do the. Oh, uh, you got one? You about freestyle? I was gonna freestyle. What the fuck? I'm gonna do the. the <laughs> I'm gonna do the outro. So, right, go thank you again for tuning in to another episode of No Records Podcast, episode number sixty six. Follow all the social down below. Follow all of, if you want to talk to us. DM us. You want them to DM you? No, nah, yeah, DM me. Yeah, DM me if you got some questions. You want to talk to us about some things. You know what I'm saying? Join the Discord if you want to talk to all the guys. You want to play video games with us? Join the Discord. And um, follow, like I said, follow the socials. Oh, happy holidays from the reg- no regulars. You know well, what I'm saying? It's coming out. No, you're going to have more before Christmas. If you don't see me again, Merry I thought, Christmas, though. I thought December is like, like you say happy holidays throughout all December. Are you really? Yeah, like like when you say I don't even celebrate Christmas. I just told them that to make them feel good. Dang, bro. Would you just say happy holidays? Yeah. Happy holidays. Happy well, holidays. Like, uh, Kwanzaa's coming? Happy Kwanzaa. Hanukkah? Happy Hanukkah. I think that's. And a happy New Year? Man, I don't know what y'all talking about. <laughs> Nigga, play your part. My part? Out of the beginning, I got you. Appreciate you guys for listening. Ah. We different than regular race, man. Gangsta. I already got get it. I'm going to